And a very good evening, everyone, from Football Park in Adelaide, and welcome to match number four in the $525,000 Foster's Football Cup for season 1985. In Adelaide tonight, a rather cool evening, a breeze from the southwest, which is making conditions, well, probably worse than cool for spectators in the outer tonight. But I think we're going to see a top game of football between the VFL runners-up last year and the side that always likes to do well in Adelaide. I speak, of course, Hawthorne and Port Adelaide. Let's go down now to the respective rooms. And first of all, in the Port Adelaide room, here's Robert Oti. Thank you, Peter. Well, Port Adelaide have had rather a bad start to the season with injuries, particularly to key ruckman Russell Johnston. Dexter Kennedy has a virus which has settled him out of the side for the first part of the season. Tim Evans, their full forward, and their utility player, Stephen Clifford. They managed to win last Saturday, though, against Sturt, who haven't had that good a beginning to the year, even though they had lost Port Adelaide, that is, to West Torrens in the first match. Captain coach Russell Ebert began the last week on the interchange bench, which was somewhat of a surprise, and he has named himself to play there again this evening. However, state players Craig Bradley, Greg Anderson and Dwayne Russell were in great form last Saturday, and Port Adelaide will be looking for a return to that sort of form this evening. And Ian Day has some information for us from Hawthorne. Thanks, Robert. Yes, good evening, everybody. It's disappointing that we're not going to see some of the big names, Matthews, Tuck, Ayers and Mew, but other big names will be with us. Ede, Kennedy, Russo, Dip, Ed, Domenico, hope I said it right, Bacanara and Peter Knights, who's playing his first game for the season after a bad virus complaint. Other younger players that we'll be looking at are Greg Deer, a young giant ruckman, uh, John Dunstall, he's the top goal kicker from Queensland last year, and Robert Hanley from Tasmania. Hawthorne, not a good start by their standards, have won only two out of their, uh, one out of their three games, but they didn't play Saturday, they'll be rearing to go tonight, that's for sure. Back to you, Peter Landy. All right, thanks, Robert, and thanks, Ian. As I said, a rather cool night in Adelaide. I think it's going to be a great game of football. The umpires for tonight are from South Australia, Laurie Argent, and from the VFL, Peter Cameron. And we'll be back with the first quarter action from Football Park after this break. Welcome back to Football Park. Laurie Argent, the South Australian umpire, about to bounce the ball. Our special comments tonight from Peter Marker. Peter, good evening. Yes, uh, thank you, Peter. Good evening to you too. It should be a great match and uh, conditions not too bad. Hope it doesn't rain. Port Adelaide missing a lot of players, so are Hawthorne. Um, there were a few squeals in Adelaide today, Peter, and, uh, and Lou over Port playing five games in 18 days, but that's the, the modern game, isn't it? Well, it's a bit tough on them, just the same, but this ground does look a picture, uh, Peter, and uh, it's a credit to the uh, South Australian Football League, really, isn't it? It's a credit to them, and remember too, Lou, we had some very heavy showers this afternoon out in North Adelaide. I don't know how much of that fell down here. Peter Knights, number 24, and he'll be lining up on number four, Russell. Knights at full back. Well, it wouldn't be Tuesday night unless it rained, whether it was at Melbourne or Adelaide or Brisbane, would it? That's right. Now, I don't know what the delay is from the umpires. I think we're about to start now. First and second quarters of 20 minutes duration, and here we go. From Football Park in Adelaide, the first quarter, Hawthorne versus Port Adelaide. A couple of new players in the Hawthorne lineup too. Playing their first game, watch out for number 37, Handley. And also number 14, wearing Alan Martello's old number, Greg Deer. Big Ruckman that Hawthorne are expecting big things from. Bacanara gets a tap on, picked up by Russo. Hawthorne kicking left his first term. Socket off the ground by Robertson. A chance out there for Anderson now at Port Adelaide, and he picks the ball up well, close to the boundary line. He's gone for a little chip pass up the centre wing. Deer getting underneath it, has the ball knocked away, and Port Adelaide swing into attack. The ball driven up by, uh, it was Geneva. A chance for Russell Green. Just about caught with the ball, and in fact it dribbles over the boundary line. No, it doesn't. It's a play on. Lester Smith. Oh, Williams just about got legged. The umpire says no free kick. A very scrambly opening down there, and the umpire has decided on a bounce. And Peter Cameron will ball it up about 10 metres out from the Port Adelaide goal. Just past the minute mark in the first term. Robertson. Off the ground. Ede. Eid up towards centre field, trying to find Malaxos, the All-Australian captain from last year, successful in so doing. And Hawthorne back into attack again. Chance for McCarthy, swings onto the right boots, lose off the side of it. Brereton getting underneath it, and it's the first score of the match coming up at the minute and a half mark, one behind. The Hawks, number seven for Port Adelaide is Curtis. Ball back into play. Now towards the half-back line. Dieg, number 14, got two hands to the ball. Couldn't complete the mark. 
chance for the Magpies now as it comes up towards centre wing. Gary Bacanara, number 11, and a good safe mark taken out there by Ginova. Ginova with the ball on that uh, half uh, back line for South Australia for it's a Port Adelaide, and a good mark taken here by Bradley. And by all accounts, this fella's a pretty good player. Over the centre half forward position for Port Adelaide, the ball hits the deck. With a fumbling going on, nearly a free kick there to Harrison. I hope the Russell, no, the umpire said no, holding the ball. Short pass by Knights across the centre field. Coming in as DP at a minute ago, pushes Bradley away with one hand, a beautiful push off. And down goes uh, Green. The ball finally picked up that time by uh, Anderson, uh, uh, Edwards, I should say. Finally going to attack his buck. And now that kick is smothered. They're making a couple of mistakes as the ex-Collingwood player, Lawson with a good hand pass. And uh, Port Adelaide going to attack that time through Williams. The ball punched away by Knights, playing in defence. Oh, Williams! Just like his brother down there at Collingwood, not frightened to go in for the ball. And it's Peter Knights kicking the ball back towards Deep Pieta Menigo and Anderson. Out it goes wide. Edwards gets the tap on there. Away from his opponent. Holding the ball. Holding the man, I should say. Against Robertson. Or was it Kennedy? And the ball back there towards the wing position. A good mark there to Deer. Deer shows a lot of strength. Finally drives the ball over that centre half forward position. Ball tapped out. And we see Port Adelaide get the ball back out there to Lawson on the edge of the square, around about the centre wing position. Lawson with a short pass, it's a good one, picked up by O'Brien, a short pass. Port Adelaide going into a tap down there in the forward pocket. Ball knocked back that time by Harrison, but it's out of bounds. Out of bounds in the forward pocket position, about 20 metres around uh, from the Port Adelaide goal. Hawthorne one point with Port Adelaide yet to score. Not grabbed by Deer. He's grabbed and the umpire's found a free kick. And Deer will take that down there in the back pocket for Hawthorne. Deer from Terelgan giving the hand pass out to Morris. Cleared by Bacanara, who only played one senior game last year. Brereton on centre wing right. My oh, geez, a long way from goal. He's not a bad kick as a rule. Getting underneath it, DP Domenico, the ball over the boundary line. I'll just look for the boundary umpire to see whether it's out on the full or not. I don't think it was. And so it will be a throw-in for Hawthorne on their half-forward right flank. Well, seemingly ideal conditions here at Football Park tonight, but I think once the dew comes down, it could become a little bit slippery. The side can gain an advantage in the first or second terms. Well on the way to victory. Good hand pass by Malaxos to Russo. Russo shoots at goal. Hit the post, I think. And one point, the end result. Well, both teams moving the ball pretty well at the moment, but a few fumbles from uh, some of the better-known lights, shall we say. Peter, uh, Port Adelaide's been badly weak with about 10 injuries, just the same, in fairness to the side. They've got about 10 out, Lou, but uh, they're a pretty good side. They're a never-say-die never side, and uh, they'll, they'll stick at it for a while, for sure. Harris's kick-out, marked by Brereton. He's gone for a short pass, trying to find Bacanara. Successfully plays on. Shoots at goal. It's close. We'll wait on the goal umpire. Might be a behind. It is. And so three points to Hawthorne. Coming up at the five-minute mark of the first term. Doesn't appear to be any advantage in the wind. Once again, Harris booting the ball back into play. In front is Deer, can't take the mark. Wallace boot the ball quickly, as is the norm for him. Down towards full forward, and a great mark taken down there by the former Queenslander, Jason Dunstall. I saw this fellow play in Queensland. I didn't see his efforts against Melbourne, although he did kick three goals. He looked good in Queensland, Pete. He did, he is a very strong mark and a pretty accurate kick. That one. I think he might have missed. So Kicked four that like points kick, to Hawthorne. Kicked it like a banana bender that time, didn't they? Really put the kibosh on him there. I tell you what, Peter, it's very difficult to kick goals at that end, particularly with the way the breeze is going. It's very hard. And, uh, Pete, uh, what uh, end would you say the breeze is favouring? Well, it's definitely favouring the Hawthorne end, but it, it chops around a lot there, and uh, goal scoring is very difficult at the, in the northern end here. Curtis. Why do we see Curtis taking a short pass? It's out of bounds on the full. Curtis, a very strong player, an ex-West Australian down there in the back pocket with the head guard on. It's Brown now to go uh, into attack for Hawthorne with a long kick up there towards the full forward zone. A chance for McCarthy. He's got the sit, but he fell down. And finally pushing the ball through is Craig Ebert, and it's through for one point. So Hawthorne still yet to score a goal, just over six minutes gone. Uh, five points to uh, Port Adelaide yet to score in the first quarter of the Foster's Football Cup. Short pass coming out there to Williams. This is the brother of Mark Williams, the Collingwood skipper. Flying high was Brereton. That's a damn good mark. So Brereton's out there at half forward, ready to send the Hawks deep into attack again. He's gone for a short pass. 
Well, McCarthy missed that completely. Finally, it's picked up by Ebert again. It's a kick of the fall short, but it'll be OK and marked here by Bradley. Another hand pass coming back to Williams. Port Adelaide looking all right. They're certainly playing a strong game as Edwards sends the ball around that half forward line. Players set themselves. Smith got his hands but couldn't hold the mark and finally it's uh, O'Halloran knocking it out of bounds. But it's on Port Adelaide's half forward line about 70 metres around from their goal. They're yet to score but Hawthorne haven't scored a goal. They're five points on the board. Knocked out by Deer. Doing pretty well on the ruck. Stack up here. A hurried kick that time by Swab. Hand pass by Bacanara, a fumble that time. The ball finally kicked up the half forward, coming in to meet it now at uh, centre half forward. It's knocked on by Port Adelaide. A hand pass coming out and they go back into attack. Down deep up there towards the full forward position. Off the top of the pack it goes. There's a hand pass from Lawson coming out now. And it's little Jennifer having a shot for goal, but it's off target for Port Adelaide and through for one point. So that's their full, first score of the match coming just over the seven and a half minute mark. And they're one point on the board. Or was it? Yes, it's a point. To uh, Hawthorne, five points. Ball back into play again. Peter Knight's playing his first game for the season after being seriously injured and sick. Picked up by Russo. Goes for the long kick over the half forward line. Dunstall couldn't hold it. Now's a chance for Malaxos. He fumbles the ball. It's Harris going for the hand pass out for Port Adler. That'll be holding the ball. Well tackled uh, against Kennedy. And it'll be Ebert to take the free kick down there towards the full back position. The 15 metre penalty, and rightly so, too. Port Adelaide up towards their centre wing position. The ball sucked off the ground out towards the point of the square, picked up by Edwards. He's gone for a hand pass and taken down there for Port Adelaide by Harvey. Good tackle by Morris, but possession for number 32, that's Knight. Green has the chance. Williams. Onto the right foot, snapshot, close. One behind, I think it is. And so we get the score, a goal scored so far in the match. Seven behind, five to Hawthorne, two to Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide have certainly picked up their game, Peter and Lou. They're going down the centre pretty well, and uh, if they could get some ascendancy up there around the, the full forward area, they might bag a couple. Lester Smith from Williams, up the centre wing. Anderson and DP to Domenico, the mark taken by Anderson in front of Dippy. Gets a 15 metre penalty. Lester Smith misses it. Wallace. Williams on the boundary line. Picks it up well for the Magpies. Goes for a short pass. Knights and Harris. Or Knights and Knight. And appropriately, well, out of bounds forward pocket. A real line ball, that one. Must be about 20 players around this throw in. Out to Bacanara. Morris. Halfback right flank. Better judgment shown by the Magpies out there as they gain possession again. And as Peter said, they're going down the centre. And it was taken away for them that time by Ebert. And picked up this time by Harrison. Not the greatest of passes. Certainly put the forward players under plenty of pressure. Robertson out to Lester Smith. And Lester Smith getting Hawthorne out of the danger zone, up towards Kennedy, who's got the pace to get clear. Remember, he had a broken leg last year, but he's really playing well now. And the mark taken by Malaxos, about 45 metres from goal. Well, this is the tricky end, as Peter mentioned before. Just looking at the flags behind the goal, though, Lou, it would appear to favour that end slightly, but looking at the, uh, the wing, they're blowing in from that other side. So I think he'd have a better chance of kicking from this position, Peter, wouldn't he? Definitely. The other side's almost impossible, Lou. Malaxos is shot. Here's another behind to Hawthorne. Yes, it is. So six points in succession to the Hawks, and they lead Port Adelaide by four. And we approach the 11 minute mark of the Fosters uh, Football Club, the first quarter. Waiting on uh, the fullback to bring the ball back into play. That's Harris. It drops a bit short. There's a go now for Russo, running into an open goal. He's off target again. They can't kick a goal, Hawthorne. So, by golly, this could be dangerous for them. Yet to score a goal. Seven points straight to Port Adelaide. Also in a similar position, but not as bad. Two points on the ball. Gee, that was a lucky let-off, though, Lou. The, the kick out uh, on that occasion by Harris just didn't work, and uh, really the Hawthorne side should have taken advantage of that. Five points the difference. Either, either side yet to score a goal. The ball back into play. Oh, Edwards, a good mark right on the line. Save that one for a badly free kick to Hawthorne. 
And they're standing it up uh, pretty well to it, uh, Port Adelaide, considering they've got uh, 10 or 12 changes from their regular side. A bit of a scuffle goes on there, and the umpire's still letting it go. Now he'll ball it up about 65 metres out from the Hawthorne goal. There's seven points to uh, Port Adelaide at two points. Going after it now is Jennifer. He's not playing a bad little game. A hand pass comes over there to bat. And, that, and that's Bradley driving a long kick up the centre half forward. Russell's got the mark. It'll be a mark to Russell. He's up like a shot away from Knights. A running shot at goal. It deserves a goal. Will it make the distance? No, it's forced through for one point. So neither side can score a goal. And we're over the 12 minute mark of this first quarter. So it's three points play seven in favour of Hawthorne. Oh, Belt missed that completely. Back it goes now to Curtis at centre field. Coming up there from the back pocket goes for a hand pass. Over it goes now to Simpson. Back to Anderson. This looks good to Geneva. Geneva goes the punch on. There's a chance now for Knight to have a long shot at the goal. Coming in the front of the pack is Russell. He's got it. Good mark to the uh, Port Adelaide full forward. He positioned himself beautifully there, Peter. He's a very strong player, Lou. He's not tall. He's probably only just six feet shorter than Peter Knight. But uh, have a look at him. He's very, very strong. Certainly well built. Only about uh, only about uh, 20 metres out from goal. On a bit of an angle, but should kick this one. And, of course, this will put him in front by two points. We're just on the 13-minute mark of the first quarter of the Fosters Football Cup. There it is on its way. And that's a goal. giving chase he's gone for a pass out to Brereton who's already had four kicks and probably been Hawthorne's best forward he can kick a goal with number five the shot is off target I think again another point and so that makes the difference now one point in favor of Port Adelaide Hawthorne eight behind straight an unbelievable succession of behinds but they'll have nightmares about it Peter because it <laughs> I say again I know I'm repeating myself but it's very difficult up that end and particularly the way the angle from uh, from which Brereton came very difficult to score OK, the ball back into play again, dropping a little bit short. Bacchanara in front. Bradley. Oh, very poor hand pass. I don't think it'll do any damage, though. It's out of bounds. Pete, I don't know if it was a bad hand pass. I don't think Lawson was ready for it. <laughs> it went straight over his head. <laughs> <laughs> he might have, he might have misjudged uh, his height, uh, Peter. You're being a little kind, I think, Lou. Anyway, <laughs> boundary throw in. On the bottom of it is Peter Russo. The umpire has again decided on the bounce. Left half forward flank for Hawthorne. Knocked down by Baker. And again out of bounds, probably about five metres further away from the Hawthorne goal. Hawthorne doing most of the attacking in the first term, but they haven't been able to score a major. Ball socket out of the pack to Brereton. Can't do much about it. In goes Williams. Oh, Brereton collects an opponent, thanks very much, right in the gob. That is Williams. It will be a free kick to Port Adelaide. And, uh, Peter Cameron just having a few words to uh, Brewerton too as the mark is taken by Smith inside the square. Oh, kicks into the man on the mark. Very foolish. O'Halloran just about a high tackle. The umpire says no. Play on. Ball booted out towards the boundary line again. And it will be thrown in adjacent to the players in the change area. One point in favour of Port Adelaide. 16 minutes gone in the first term. McCarthy in front, gets it away from Baker. Green, well caught by Williams. Umpire says, a bounce. The pro Port Adelaide crowd obviously don't agree. And he gets a tap on the head from Craig Bradley. Bounce on centre wing. Baker and McCarthy. No one really gets a decisive tap out from that exchange. And the umpire has found a free kick, I think, purely just to break it up. It's going to Kennedy of Hawthorne. Just on the 16 and a half minute mark of this first quarter, the Foster's footy cup. 1-3, 9 points, Port Adelaide to Hawthorne, 8 points out of the hit to score a goal. And they've got the ball out wide towards the wing position. Oh, Baker overruns that, but he finally knocks the ball back there to Harvey. Couldn't get clear, it was a bad kick. Harvey goes down, they pile in there as the ball is knocked out by Lawson. Finally picked up by Downfield. Lawson, he got one after he kicked the ball, so it'll be a penalty free kick to uh, Hawthorne down the field. It'll be Brown, a 15-metre penalty to boot. So this gives Brown a great chance to score their first goal after kicking eight behind straight. One goal, three nine points, Port Adelaide to uh, Hawthorne, eight points. 
This could be their first goal coming up. Six kicks to Burton. Played very well in the first quarter, but they've had good players port out they also. Pete, as we wait now on Brewer. There's the kick on its way. And what has he done with it? Another point. By golly, they can't score a goal. Nine straight behinds. How about that? Russell even the coach, would be a bit uh, pleased about that, I should imagine, Peter. Certainly would be. It's like a horror movie for the Hawthorne side, though, Lou. They, they're probably uh, wondering what they have to do to kick a goal. Well, this is deep beard a minute ago, looking more like Ali Oop every day with that beard on at set a half forward. Ali Oop. He's about... Uh, 45 metres out from goal. There it is on its way. It's a mighty kick, but once again, they're off target, and he's put it out of bounds. So they still haven't scored a goal at the seven and a half minute mark. Nine straight behinds to Port Adelaide. One goal, three nine points. So all you Hawthorne supporters back there in Melbourne wouldn't be too happy about that. There's a great mark taken there by Edwards. He's got to pay that. Brewer, I thought the bloke number 13 that grabbed that. I might be seeing double. See the three coming down. Pete Brereton's got the mark, and he'd be about, uh, let me see, about 40 metres out from goal. So he's got another chance to score their first goal. Taking a deep breath, concentrating. There's the kick on its way for their first goal, and that might be the one. But the hit is close. <laughs> oh, by golly, is this their unlucky night? Oh, this could be the turn up of the year. So they've kicked 10 straight behind, which would be just about a record, I'm sure, for the Foster's footy cup. One goal, three nine points, Port Adelaide. McCarthy goes for a tap on. Uh, Brian down to Geneva, who fumbles. Finally, it's tapped out to Robertson. He's got pace, but can he get clear of Baker? He can. In pursuit is Geneva. He's gone for a pass out towards the full forward position. Almost a mark out there to Deer. Scoops it in, <laughs> and that's number 11. Oh, this is getting me a little joke, isn't it? Well, I, th I think we should call it one goal five, but I mean, it sounds a lot better, doesn't well, it? Well, it would be easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hawthorne lead by two points. Well, our co-commentator, Peter, uh, is uh, certainly uh, coming up with a good idea. Being a lawyer, I knew he'd think of something like that. You'll charge him for it next. <laughs> <laughs> Deep in a minute ago. Just about over the boundary line. In fact, he is. So it will be a throw-in. So things not going well. Things not going Hawthorne's way. Close to quarter time. It's all Hawthorne, but Greg Deer fumbles, and so there'll be no further addition to the score. DP Domenico, Flatten, Simpson. Ball scooped back past Anderson. Bacchanara puts the body in well out to Williams it goes, but there's the siren for the end of the first quarter. Only one goal scored. That was by Port Adelaide, and they trailed by two points. 1-3, Hawthorne, 11 behind. Lead by two points at quarter time, although they haven't scored a goal, 11 straight behind. Peter Marker, how did you see the turn? Well, I, I thought that Hawthorne uh, had uh, the majority of the play, Peter, but uh, speaking to our stats man a little while ago, uh, the stats indicate that that's not the case, and uh, Port Adelaide was, was certainly in it stats-wise. Well, you look at Williams, that's number 10, that's the brother of Mark, which we spoke about in the first quarter of the commentary, that uh, he's had about 10 possessions, and he has been a fine player. They've had uh, uh, Craig Ebert down in the back pocket has been doing well, too. Uh, yes. They've had many good players actually they have Bradley and, and Anderson across center have, uh, have had important touches yes. and of course uh, Dwayne Russell at full forward has given them something to aim at but uh, gee the Hawthorne side with Burton a powerhouse at center half forward they really had the opportunity to kill the game off but uh, well, you only get one chance in footy don't you I can't recall a side kicking 11, 11 straight behind but <laughs> Second quarter from Football Park in Adelaide, the Foster's Cup clash between Hawthorne and Port Adelaide. Hawthorne lead by two points, 11 points to nine. Hawthorne this quarter kicking to the right, picked up by Deer, their new ruckman from Terelgan, knocked away by Curtis. Curtis gets clear of two Hawthorne players, Dunstall and Malaxos. Out in turn, he's fired the hand pass to Harris. Harris up towards centre wing, and the mark is taken by Lester Smith. Rod Lester Smith, formerly from Western Australia. Trying to find Brereton, who's already had uh, seven kicks, knocked away by Edwards, picked up uh, by Geneva. Lester Smith should get there first again, paddles the ball further forward, it's out of bounds, on centre wing on the outer side. Deer doing the ruck work with Hawthorne, Baker for Port Adelaide. Deer has the height advantage, Baker wins it well. Lester Smith and O'Brien go down. Oh, he threw that out nicely. Out to Geneva. Geneva's kick is a high one. Off the hands of the pack and the chance for Peter Knight. Socket away from him, though. 
in the direction of Harrison. It's out of bounds, though. Half forward, right flank for Port Adelaide. And once again, we'll see a throw. -in. Or as they, I think, say over here, Lou, a ball. This time it's Deer getting the front position, but he can't get the ball away from the pack. Very scrambly out there as the ball becomes slippery. Finally picked up by Russell Green out to Lester Smith, who's been in everything so far in this term. Still in its uh, infancy and a good mark taken at centre field out there for Port Adelaide by Simpson. Gets the hand pass out to Bradley. Long to full forward. Almost a mark to Schwab. Couldn't complete it. Looking for a free kick for holding the ball. None there. Jennifer goes for a hurried hand pass. Intercepted for Hawthorne by Schwab and long hand pass out to Robertson and Hawthorne gets clear. And that's good play by the Hawthorne defence. Ball back out there towards the centre wing position. Simpson and Brereton having a battle, but De Brereton decides to kick it off the ground. Coming in to meet it now is Harvey. Picked it up beautifully there at half back. Shoots the ball back towards the centre of the ground. This is Eve. It's around uh, his opponent Anderson, then he beats Belton. The ball finally shot down there towards the centre half. Ford presents Kennedy dropped the mark, got one on the back of the head. Crowd not too happy about that decision. And he'll take the free kick at centre half forward, about uh, 50 metres out from goal. They're yet to score a goal into the second quarter, the Foster's footy cup by two and a half minutes. There it is on its way. Brown could mark this, he does. He's been their best player by far so far. By a mile. So Brereton in the forward pocket. Nine kicks so far to Brereton, Lou. And he'd only be about uh, 15 metres out from goal. A difficult shot, but at least he's on the right side for a right footer. Brereton with a chance to kick their first goal just on the three-minute mark of the second quarter. And that's a goal. So it's Hawthorne. One goal, 11. That's 17 points. To Port Adelaide, one goal, three, nine points. Well, that was about time, Peter. Well, it certainly was, and uh, amazingly enough, he probably could have played on when he took the mark. He, he didn't. Uh, I, I think they probably lost all their confidence with goal kicking up till now, but he really has held the Hawthorne side together. He's been their only real forward, Lou, and uh, without them, they'd probably be in a little bit more trouble. Certainly would be, Peter. Comments from Peter Marker. Set a bounce. It'll be uh, Baker against Deer. Deer got the tap down. And the ball driven out there by O'Brien. Back it comes to Little Jinnab. He tried to tap that onto uh, on the, uh, Anderson. But uh, finally we see the ball shot out there towards that half four. And Brereton again. No doubt to Hawthorne's best player. Short pass coming over there to Green. Another hand pass to Russo and off one to Malaxos. And soccer style. Stanley Matthews through for another goal. So it's Hawthorne. Two goals, 11-23 to Port Adelaide. One goal, three, nine points. I tell you what, they nearly made a mess of that, didn't they? Well, I think they were doing it a bit easy. They're starting to get on top now. They can sense that, uh, Peter. Certainly. I, I think probably if they, we all realised if they kicked straight in the first course, quarter, that sort of thing would have happened. Gee, that was... Uh, it, the chance. impression he the foot was over the line. Yeah. Umpire's never wrong, though. We uh, can't complain. 23 players, 9 at the Foster's Cup from Football Park. Two quick goals in this term to Hawthorne, to Malaxos and Brereton. Nobody getting it out of the centre circle, and umpire Laurie Argent has decided to get on the bounce. I think we should tell our Melbourne audience too, Pete, there's quite a few novice players playing in this Port Adelaide side because they've been knocked about badly by injury. I think there's about 10 of their regular players out of the team. That's right. Williams, one of their better players tonight, certainly up towards their full forward position. Knights, the old leap of old. Fits it well clear, but again back to Williams. Williams up to its full forward. One behind the end result, the port. Well, that end was certainly a jinx. Now the Magpies kicking behinds up there. They trail by 13. Peter Knight really testing himself out with that leap. Deed. The centre field. Good bump by Kennedy, but the ball was over the boundary line. See who that is. Their big ruckman. It's a free kick going to Anderson to Port Adelaide. Up towards the point of the square. Now have a misjudges the flight of the ball. Schwab going for a hand pass. Not successful. Can't get it clear. Picked up uh, for Port Adelaide down there by Smith. And the mark is taken by Russell. Baker obviously getting quite a heavy knock. But staying on the field he appears okay. Obviously just winded. Now, Russell, about 25 metres out from goal. It's 
coming around. It's a goal. The out for it beautifully. Local knowledge counts a lot. His second, Port Adelaide second, and the Magpies come a little bit closer. Scoreboard. Hawthorne 2 11, Port 2. 23 plays 16. Well, Port Adelaide really needed that goal to get back into it because the last five minutes has been all Hawthorne, but gee, Dwayne Russell really is a powerhouse. He's a he top footballer is. and uh, he's got a top player on him, of course, Peter Knights. He doesn't play a lot of football, but uh, it's good to see him back. But great to see Dwayne Russell get that one for the Magpies. Seven points the difference. 16 plays 23 in favour of Hawthorne. Bradley gets offloaded by a Halloran. Ginova takes the hand pass at the edge of the square. Long shot. Knights in front. Russell there with him. Both fall to the ground. A chance for a goal and picked up for Port Adelaide by Knight. Free kick, free kick to Knight. Well, the crowd's not too happy about that. List them going mad here in the stand. And watch that. Watch it again, uh, Peter. In the, in the back, I guess, the Knights, was it? He might have been hanging on. Right, I think uh, Peter Knights was probably hanging on to him, Lou. They're pretty hard, those. All well, back out there towards Deer. He fumbled that mark. There's a chance now for Bradley to get clear. Boots the ball long up there towards the big fella again. It falls short. Punched out by Knights. That's uh, Lawson trying to get a hand pass out. DP and Amenigo chips in. And the pressure on Hawthorne. They're having a go, this uh, young uh, Port Adelaide side. Uh, Laxos, a hand pass coming over to Buccanara. Kicked it to his own man that time. And the crowd are going mad as they can smell. Uh, Port Adelaide trying to score a goal as Jennifer gets it down to half back. Dropped by Robertson. Green over to Russo. Back it goes to Wallace. Scooting clear. Wallace boots the ball out to the half forward line. Plenty of Hawthorne players. Good play on the part of Simpson. In goes Russo. Tries to get uh, Baker. Di Pietamenico goes down. They pile on top of him. The umpire still calling play on as we see coming after the ball now is Harvey. He couldn't pick it up. Malaxos gets it out clear. It's finally knocked over to Bacanara. Hooks the ball back towards the goals. Broden with a chance to mark, but they swoop on top of him. As they go for Edwards, they take the ball away from the danger zone. They're really trying this crowd as it comes out the belt. Oh, great mark taken there by Swap. Out there on the centre wing position. A hand pass to O'Hell with a short pass. A beauty. And marked here by uh, Kennedy. Now, Kennedy would be about uh, 45 to 50 metres out from goal. Hawthorne 2-11 to Port Adelaide 2-4. There's a stack up here now. Might have been Kennedy. I would have had a shot that time. A free kick against Hawthorne's deep here to Manico. 15-metre penalty against him. And the free kick will go to Anderson, still holding his head. I think uh, DPM might have given him one in the pack. Never. Probably watched that Marvin Hagler uh, hit man hands <laughs> fight today, I think, Lou. So he's on the point of the square. square, square. The ball back there towards centre half four. They're doing all right. Little Jennifer playing a pretty good game here tonight. He's had about uh, eight kicks. There it is up there towards the goals now. A chance for Williams, but uh, beating for the ball was Morris. Couldn't get clear. A hand pass from O'Brien back to Smith. Back it goes to Russell. A snap at goal. He's put it through. of play, Peter. Certainly was, Lou, and uh, a lot of body strength for Port Adelaide to get the ball up there. The coach is pretty happy, and Dwayne Russell with three goals, a top effort in the first half. Well, they're playing strong, determined uh, football. You can't deny that. And... Langford on for O'Hallow, a change swung by Hawthorne coach Alan Jeans. Langford going down to defence. Rain falling pretty heavily at the moment, Pete. It's a light cushion here, Lou. Is it? Langford, his first touch, as I said, he's just come on. Picked up by Russo, gets caught by O'Brien. Back to Bradley. Langford's tackle was laid out towards half-forward right flank in front. Williams, good mark in front of Schwab. Played a good game, this fella, too. I would say he's about Port's best, even though Russell has three goals. Had about nine possessions in this first part of the game. He could just about kick this or get it pretty close. Knights in front, got a nice old edge out there. And that's what the umpire has seen. And I... Should out the South Australian umpire, not uh, Peter Camp. Knights. Looks for Wallace. Too long for him. Out of bounds. And so a boundary throw in. Almost in the left forward pocket for Port Adelaide. Remind you of VFL Park. Oh, right? yes. Well, it's Tuesday night, though, you see. The bloke up there knows that it's Tuesday night, so uh, sends down the rain. Out to Anderson. Elliot attempt to mark by Lester Smith, couldn't drag it in. Chance for Russell, goal number four. Yeah. Port Adelaide in front by five.
behind. Hawthorne's 11 behind in the first quarter. Could be very costly indeed. We might not have any more night outings unless they can straighten up. Morris fumbles. Lester Smith doesn't. He's played a very good second quarter. Lester Smith from halfback right flank. Looks for Brereton. He's got it. Oh, great mark under the conditions. Has he been a star for Hawthorne tonight? That'll be about 10 kicks, I reckon. 12. Not bad before half time. Kennedy. Russo. Russo shoots from a long way out. Look at the rain carry that one around. Like a drawn golf shot. Bacanara. And the mark taken right on the line. I think it was paid to Craig Ebert. The umpire has. Gee, you, you can't produce rain like that in Melbourne, can you? That really is good stuff. No, it's almost as good as Brisbane. That, Pete, you've got us there. I'll concede you the point. Bradley. And they all look different now in the rain. That sort of helps us. Knights, has he been moved? He's out at half-back anyway, whether he's actually playing there. The mark taken by McCarthy, just short of centre field. And we're just over the 12-minute uh, mark, and they're doing it pretty well, Port Adelaide. They're in front by five points. 28 plays, 23 a hand pass. Coming out now to Kennedy's down. Well tackled that time by Edwards. They're going in like nobody's business. Back to Williams, a real star there for them today. And the ball shot back to the centre of the ground. And a orderly mark by Smith that hits the deck. Smith goes down. They pile in a hand pass. Comes out to Curtis. Another one over to Anderson. They go back into attack up towards the Russell, the big fellow. Couldn't get his hand to it that time. They've got Morris on him now. They've moved Knights. And the ball is out of bounds in the forward uh, pocket position for Port Adelaide. About 30 uh, metres around from their goal. So it's four goals for 28 Port Adelaide to Hawthorne. 2 11 23. And it's pelting down here at Football Park. Ball knocked out again. Finally picked up by the ex collingwood player Lawson. Back it goes to Anderson. That's a bad kick, but it's very slippery out there. Russo couldn't pick it up. It's, uh, that's uh, Swab driving it back towards the centre of the ground. Malaxos and Curtis. Curtis knocks it on again. Over it goes to Geneva. Back it goes to Bradley. A long shot of goal. The umpire's found a free kick here for throwing the ball. It'll be against Geneva. Got the umpire there. He was trying to put on his uh, Mac. There well, I think the, the umpire might have been a bit harsh that time because it's terribly slippery out there and it's absolutely pelting down. It's the first time we've had uh, rain of, well, certainly what, of this about 20 years, I think. Oh, get out. <laughs> get out. I've never it's seen rain this rain afternoon. Like this. I'll tell you what, this will be in Melbourne tomorrow, this <laughs> lot. <laughs> well, it makes uh, certain they get this sort of rain at VFL Park. Oh, better than this. Lester Smith with the ball at centre half back. Out towards that wing position. Brereton goes there with Simpson. Brereton nearly goes over, kicks it off the ground. That's the right thing to do out wide. That's Harvey getting around uh, Brereton. Got around two of them. Strong play. Over it goes to Belt. Finally, Simpson kicks the ball, but it's out of bounds. Out of bounds on the centre wing position. And Port Adelaide giving uh, the Hawks plenty of curry at the t at the moment. Four goals, 4-28 uh, Port Adelaide to Hawthorne, 2-11-23. It's where blind you're in the tropics the way this uh, rain is pelting down here in Adelaide. Probably a bit unfortunate for Port Adelaide too, Lou. They had a, they had a run on at the stage that the rain fell and uh, it's probably affecting them a, them a little bit more than the Hawks. Well knocked out by McCarthy. Comes back to Lester Smith. He's grabbed. Finally got a hand pass back to Russo. Tapped on again. Bacanara goes down. Kennedy gets a hand pass. Down goes uh, McCarthy. Couldn't get clear. Kennedy again goes after it. Out there on that uh, wing position as Edwards going. He's tripped, but the umpire says play. They're falling over like nine pins. It's on Hawthorne's half four line. Russo kicks it down there, but there's no one there for Hawthorne. And a good strong mark be, uh, here by Curtis. Curtis's kick is back towards the centre of the ground. The chance for Reed. Tapped it back. Good play. Spine play. Over to Wallace. Back it goes to Langford, but he can't pick it up. His kick is smothered. Well played by Bradley. A quick uh, kick there back towards the centre of the ground. Coming out the minute as Knights. It's finally pushed on there. O'Brien tries to tap it over to Williams. He's got it for his grab. He gets a hand pass. But the umpire said, hold the ball that time. And the free kick will go there to uh, Peter Knights around about the centre half forward position. 15 and a half minutes gone of the second quarter. 28 plays, 23 in favour of Port Adelaide. Wallace taking the mark. Then gets a 15 metre penalty. He's not the longest kick of the side, Terry Wallace. Gets plenty of them. He's gone for a pass. Trying to find Dunstall. It's well fisted away from him. Bacanara, right foot snapshot. It's a goal. And greeted by the appropriate applause from the Port Adelaide fans. 4-4 to 3-11. Hawthorne by a point.
Well, they worked hard for that, Peter. Well, I guess they had to stop the rot, Lou, and uh, there was a 15-metre penalty in favour of Russo then, and that helped the cause a bit, but Bacanara is a very good player. Reads it off the pack beautifully, and uh, it was a good goal. Hawthorne into change bench, looking appropriately cold. Goal kickers for Hawthorne, Alexis Bacanara, Brereton. Hawthorne by a point. That was Gary Bacanara's first goal, only Hawthorne's third. Russell has four for Port Adelaide. The rain has eased off considerably at the 17-minute mark of the second quarter. Back into the centre, one by Baker, the tap down. Picked up by Geneva, bad hand pass to Robertson. Oh, Robertson looking for a free kick. He could get one for holding the man. And Laurie Argent paying the decision as such. He'll take the free kick at centre-half back for Hawthorne. Norman Robertson. With uh, another good suntan, which he gets and is working as the curator of the Ivanhoe Golf Course in oh. Melbourne. Black mark Certainly to Curtis. Better. Former West Australian over to Bradley. Bradley from half-back left flank. Long kick with the wind up towards centre-half forward. Russell again. Marks and six kicks to Russell. Just about within kicking distance with the breeze behind him. It's a towering punt kick. It's just about there. It's a goal. Oh, what a kick. Five goals to Russell. Sensational stuff. Port Adelaide. 5-4, 34. Hawthorne, 3-11, 29. Well, it really is an amazing show he's putting on. Gee, they say he can kickstart a 7-4-7. He's that strong. Uh -huh. It's an amazing kick. That, that went 60 metres, but I, I guess the thing that uh, comes out of that is the ball is uh, certainly not heavy. It's just a little bit wet. That's right. And uh, the kick from Bradley that went to him yep. was probably 50 metres, but, uh, gee, that was a great goal. Well, we're just over the 18-minute mark. They've hit the front again, Port Adelaide, by five points. 5-4 five, plays 3-11. And Hawthorne in plenty of trouble. Knocked out by uh, Baker again. Kennedy tries to get clear. He was held on to, but he didn't have the ball. The crowd not too happy about the decision. I must admit it's a bit uh, Port Adelaide's way here. Just a bit. Just a little bit. Down a centre half forward. Knocked away from Brown. Tacked on by Langford. The kick by Simpson goes out towards the wing position. There's a chance now for Russo to pick it up. He goes down. Umpire says play and it's grabbed on the line that time by Anderson. Didn't go out. Boots it back there to Smith. He's got the mark. Oh, he dropped it. Got a hand pass back there to Harris. That's smothered. And there's a chance now for Green to get it away from centre half back. It's a short kick, but it'll be okay. Wallace goes for a hand pass back to Robertson, right on the edge of the square. Now Hawthorne swing back into attack. But no one there for them, and a good strong mark by Baker. A hand pass coming over to uh, Ebert. They're playing strong, confident football. Back from Curtis over to Ebert again at half back. And they get the ball out wide. There's little Jennifer on his own. Smith's there coming in with Knights. Knights uh, grabbed it out, but over the big centre half forward from Port Adelaide. And good strong defensive plays. He gets it out wide to the wing position where Malaxos takes the mark. A quick hand pass to Bacanara. The ball shot down towards Hawthorne's half forward line, but it's out of bounds. So at the night, there's the sound of in the uh, quarter. And at quarter half time, we see uh, at the Port Adelaide 5 4 34 to Hawthorne 3 11 29. Half time score Port Adelaide 5 4, leading Hawthorne 3 11. Hawthorne kicking three goals straight in that term after 11 behinds in the opening quarter. But Port Adelaide making much better use of the breeze and or rain than Hawthorne did. They added 4 1 whereas the Hawks in the first term, as I said, could add only 11 points. Lou, how did you see the uh, first half of the match? Well, I couldn't believe that Hawthorne kicked so badly in that first quarter, but uh, they, they weren't uh, forced into error by uh, the strong defence of Port Adelaide. But you've got to say this about Port Adelaide. The side is about 10 senior players short, and they're five points in front now. And, uh, and I would say uh, only through Brereton, uh, Hawthorne's centre-half forward, Port Adelaide uh, would have possibly had a bigger lead. And they played damn good football, determined, and... You've got to give full marks to that guy playing at full forward, number four, Russell. He's played a superb game. Kick five goals. Five goals, and you can't beat that. And, of course, he's had a couple of experienced people. One in particular, and Peter Knight's allowing for Peter Knight's for playing his first game for the year. But uh, he played him like a veteran. He's a strong. There's about six uh, Hawthorne half-back flankers. And uh, some of his uh, forward play and his kicking for goal was superb. And he's the player they've got to handle. They've got five points up on Hawthorne. The 11 straight behinds could be the downfall they could even lose the game I'm not going to say they are 
I think they'll come back and win the game, but they've got to lift their game all over. They've had quite a good few players. Uh, Ebert in the back pocket played well, and I'm very impressed with uh, Mark Williams' brother. That's uh, young Steve. He's played a top game. And, of course, he's a typical Williams player that Balls they in. bore in and they don't uh, know what defeat is. And, of course, the two boys on the half-back flank are not doing a bad job, Harvey and Edwards, either. All right, well, that's it at half-time. Port Adelaide leading... many good players for Hawthorne, really, Pete. Brereton would be their best, I would have thought. Well, we've seen Robertson come into it and uh, a couple of others. Uh, uh, Russo's doing a couple of good things. And, uh, but Lester Smith played, I thought, Lester a reasonable Smith quarter. Reasonable, but the, you can just about raffle the rest, and bad kicking is no, no excuse to be down the drain as they are. All right, five points, as I said, at half-time in favour of the Magpies. Can they go on with it? We've got two full quarters, 25 minutes plus time on. That could uh, sort things out, I think, in the second half. OK, let's go to our regular half-time feature now in the Foster's Cup for 1985. It's Palmer's Punchlines, and here's the sporting editor of the Sunday Press, Scott Palmer. Good evening. Welcome again to Punchlines. Co-tenants Collingwood and Fitzroy go to the appeals board tomorrow night to sort out a transfer fee for handsome young Mark Wiedemann. I've been given a couple of sets of figures in this case. One claims the Magpies want $35,000 and the Lions are offering $10,000. The other is Collingwood will take $15,000 for Wiedemann, who has played 28 games, but Fitzroy think $5,000 is a just figure. On today's market, I'd say the weed would be worth about $10,000. One league club is likely to get a letter of complaint about the behaviour of some of its players at a VFA game last Sunday. One particular player of short stature was apparently quite active. His name was also mentioned in a bit of a dust-up at a Paran nightclub in the pre-season period. My reaction? Boys will be boys. Melbourne officials claim Hawthorne's hold on Roger Ellingworth is a type of Clayton's recruiting. It's recruiting when you're not really recruiting. Ellingworth wants to play with the Hawks. He's desperate to. He's prepared to train and wait. But the Demons say he'll probably have to wait until Hawthorne release another player to fit him into their salary cap. The South Australians are keeping their side for May 14 secret at this stage. But the VFL players who will be recalled are Bruce Lindner, Greg Phillips, Matt Rendell, Paul Weston and Robin White. Des Herbert, a Queenslander who Collingwood cleared this year, is likely to play for South Australia. The Tigers hope that Maurice Rioli's original club, South Fremantle, decide once and for all whether to take legal action to reclaim the star, because they say it's worrying the champion. Richmond is ready to fight to the last to keep his services. And there's here's something for the ladies of VFL football. You'll soon be able to buy African necklaces like this, made by the natives in the dark continent and in VFL club colours. I'm sure they'll fit a logo on as well. Football is spreading throughout the world. Even in Paris, they're singing the praises about it. Drop kick. It's the old-fashioned way. Puts a ball in my arms. And we'll discover goals. We'll never know before. Unequaled for penetrating, if you'll excuse the expression. But, mon petit panicker, what is wrong with the drop pad? The drop pad, don't play with me, my little mouse. Come, let us try it together. Step off in the old fashioned way. I'd like to thank the wonderful cast that could have been champions of 3 Triple R. See you next week. <laughs> the old dropkick, Lee, you don't see many of those these days. Well, there were some masters kicking them. To see Stuart and Polly Farmer, Sam Newman and these great players. It's sad that we don't have the dropkick today, but 
That's what coaches want because the margin of error is too great. The way football's percentage football all the time now, it's unfortunate really to lose, to lose the great facets of the game. Yeah, the great drop kicks of Freddie Swift, he almost hit the centre well, every time, yeah, didn't he? see that Stewart come out and Polly Farman, and Billy Goggin, you can go on, you know. It's... We'll be talking here for the next five minutes, well, we but I think too. you should take a break and we'll be back in just a moment. lead by five points as we begin the third term. Knocked away by Baker, knocked on by Deer. O'Brien takes the hand pass in front of Handley. Alan Jeans has just brought him on. Deepi Domenico tries to crash his way through. Robertson takes the hand pass. He's gone for a pass up towards Malaxos and he marks about 35 metres from goal. Well, this is the hard angle, Peter Marker, but I see he's gone for a pass and Bacchanara left unguarded. That was pretty costly, or could prove so. Well, he's picked up some local knowledge, I think, Malaxos. Pretty clever player, uh, all-Australian captain. He knows what he's doing, and uh, kicked to one of the uh, one of his Western Australian colleagues, Bacchanara, who kicked a great goal in the second quarter. And Bacchanara, a chance for his second goal. He shouldn't miss from there, and he has it. Hawthorne back in front by a point. Two goals to Gary Bacchanara. Well, if that's an indication that Hawthorne mean business, they could be able to build up a handy lead kicking with the breeze in this turn. Yeah, well, the Magpies made a, a mistake in the middle of the ground when they when they gave up possession of the ball. Here it is. Um, they let Di, Di Pierre Domenico get through. He got the handball out, but the kick up forward from Robertson was spot on, and uh, Jim Malaxos, I don't think he would have known about those goals. He turned around and gave it straight to Bacchanara, <laughs> and uh, it played off for them. Hawthorne lead by a point at the minute and a half mark of the third quarter. 35 plays 34 here at Football Park. The rain has stopped. Russo out to Handley. Curtis getting underneath the oh, Great mark. Almost in the same position that Malaxos took the one before. So Port Adelaide answering the challenge as the ball comes out towards Harvey. And he takes a great mark only a few centimetres from the turf. And the Hawks are back in front by a point. They're 4 11, 35 to Port Adelaide. 5 4 34 just on the two-minute mark of this uh, third quarter. Ball kicked away by Bradley. Not a good one. Deer tried to uh, snuggle away to himself but fell over. Robertson taps it out. Down goes Owen. The umpire said it'll be a ball up. There may have been a push in the back. Three kicks haven't been going Port Adelaide's way. It was, uh, I think, 12 to 5 at half time in favour of uh, Hawthorne. They're a point in front. And they kicked 11 straight behind before they uh, scored their first goal in the second quarter. Ball knocked down towards that half forward line. Coming in as Baker couldn't pick it up. He couldn't bend down. Williams tries to get clear. Actually threw that one out, I think. Goes after it again. By golly, he's like his brother. They don't give him these Williams guys. I'll tell you that now. A chip off the old block, I think, Lou. Certainly, yeah. if you remember Foss Williams. Mm. Well, if they don't get the ball, they certainly won't let anyone else touch it. The ball hits the deck again. Finally driven up that time by Handley. Uh, Port player down. Baker hits the deck. Spinning out the pack that time uh, was... Uh, Dunstall couldn't get clear. Hand pass coming back there from Curtis. Finally, it's picked up here now. And the ball is driven up there by Harris. Back towards Smith, and it'll be a mark. Good mark for Smith at centre field for Port Adelaide. Doesn't waste any time. Goes out wide. It might be all right. Knight in front. He's got the mark. That's a mark tonight at half forward. Doesn't waste any time. Quickly plays on. Tries to get it down to that forward pocket position. Russell going up. But there'll be a free kick. It'll go against... Uh, against Anderson, the free kick to go to Morris down there in the back pocket position for Hawthorne. They're 4 11 35 to Port Adelaide 5 4 34. Three and a half minutes gone of the third quarter of the Port Ad of the Foster's Footy Cup. Picked up now by Eda. Hand pass coming over to Wallace. It bounces okay. Goes for a pass. McCarthy couldn't hold that when he goes down. They pile in top of him there. That's Harvey having a go and also Ebert. That's the brother of Russell, the skipper who incidentally broke the uh, record for senior games, I think, last Saturday with 435. There's a chance now for uh, Wallace to get a hand pass back. Peter Knight was grabbed. The umpire called play. He's grabbed the second time. Still calling play on, but he won't give in. Peter Knight. Now he's knocked down. Down goes Simpson. They go after Brown this time. He can't get clear. Oh, we hold the ball against him. He's disgusted. Well, so is Knights. They got, he worked hard. The ball out of bounds. I think the Port Adelaide supporters thought it was about time, Lou. OK. Five goals, 4.34 Port Adelaide to uh, Hawthorne, 4.11.35. Boundary throw in on centre wing. 
Deer takes it out of the pack beautifully up towards centre field, trying to find Knights again. Knights leading Hawthorne tonight. And though he got well beaten, oh. Russell, nice throw. <laughs> oh, get a game with Manley. And he's given Port Adelaide a free kick. Brantley takes it on centre wing, well shepherded by Williams. Up to full forward. Oh, great mark to Russell. Well, this fellow's five for Sandy's football, Pete. He's had about five or six marks. He's already kicked uh, five goals. Five goals. Hasn't put a foot wrong all night. So, Russell, about 35 metres from goal. As you can see, directly in front. Rain and the breeze have certainly died down, so he should be able to get the distance from there. A wobbly approach. And the end result shows out to the forward pocket, and Dippy takes the mark. Robertson. Green. Robertson again. One of the Hawthorne speedsters from centre half back. He's gone long, trying to find Brereton at the back, can't take the mark. Malaxos in there for, uh, for support. Curtis gets a hurried hand pass out. Now it's uh, Bacanara. Three Port Adelaide players are there. They could have raffled that. And the mark is taken by Ebert. He's gone for a short pass, not a good one. It's a free kick going to Bradley, though, it looks like. And Bradley will take the free kick on the half-back line. Deepy and Domenico. <laughs> Pushed Anderson straight in the mush. Peter Cameron's signal was for holding the ball. Well, uh, it wasn't for holding the ball, but a straight up tackle is not legal. He looks like a caveman and he only needed a club and he's he knocked him right out, wouldn't he? Well, he get a job in the Ten Commandments with a beard like that. Put Charlton Heston out of business. There he is again, can't mark that one. Picked up by Schwab. Back to centre field. Brereton, that's about his tenth mark. Over to Bacanara, short to half forward. Curtis, grabbed by Malaxos, he's given a Hawthorne free kick for holding the man. That's the and it will go to Jason Dunstall, and he's about 40 metres from goal. So the Queenslander has a chance for his first goal tonight. Hawthorne, by the way, after kicking 11 straight behinds, have kicked four straight goals. Make it five. Jason Dunstall's first. Hawthorne back in front again now, and uh, two seven points up, 5-11, 5-4. Dunstall was the player that was uh, that was dragged. Let's have a look at it in replay. It was I didn't pick it up with the naked eye, but the camera might show us what happened. There he was. He was grabbed, and uh, the umpire made the correct decision. 5-11, Hawthorne. The Magpies, 5-4. Centre bounce, Jennifer tries to get it out, but it's finally knocked out here now, and Belton going after it, can't pick it up now, he's clear, put out of balance that time by Di Pietromenico, picked up by Anderson, but it's not a good kick and marked here by Kennedy. Got around an opponent, boots the ball back towards Hawthorne's half forward line, they all missed that, kicked off the ground by Brown, and Simpson tries to go for a hand pass, he's pulled to the ground, and the umpire said this will be a ball up. Out there on that half forward flank position for Hawthorne, they're 41 points to Port Adelaide, 34. Eight minutes gone of this uh, third quarter of the Fosters Football Cup. And this is a crackerjack game as we see little Jennifer doing a great job. Gets the ball back towards the wing position. It's Kennedy now. A hand pass. That's a bad one. Knocked out by Anderson and the ball is out of bounds on the centre wing position. So Hawthorne are certainly not having all their own way here tonight. A fine effort by Port Adelaide after having 10 of their senior players out. Knocked out that time by Deer. He couldn't get clear. Gets a hand pass back now towards Wallace. Bacanaro chips in a hand pass to Deer. It's a long kick up there towards the full forward position. Peter Knights flies. Lost sight of it. Going into meet it now as Hanley goes down. They're falling over like nine pins. Down goes Knights again. It's very slippery out there. There's a stack up for sure. The umpire will ball it up. Right on the point of the square. Ready to come on the ground is uh, Bennett. This is James Bennett. Ball up on the point of the square, right in the teeth of goals for Hawthorne. Knocked out for Curtis. Curtis couldn't get clear. Another ball up for sure. Still about five or six metres out from the Hawthorne goal. They're 5'11'41 to Port Adelaide, 5'4'34. 
Well, no one got that one. Still plenty of scrimmaging going on. The ball very slippery after we had plenty of rain here for about a half an hour in that second quarter. Now he's spreading things out a bit. He's given a free kick here to Port Adelaide. And the free kick will go down there in the back pocket to... Uh, It'll be Belt. Belton's kick is out towards the, the half-back line. There's Russell there, that he's doing down there. Kennedy with a hand pass back to Buccanar at centre half forward. A long kick out towards Brown. He's got a start on Simpson. He'll get away from him, OK. Shows plenty of dash. A beautiful pass coming over now to Green. Scoots around Simpson again. A long shot at the goal. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It might be a goal. Yes, it's a goal. McCarthy off, Bennett on for Hawthorne. Hawthorne lead 47 to 34. Now Wallace goes for the hand pass. Not a particularly good one out to Lester Smith. Tries to get it back to Wallace. It's a real wrestle out there, and umpire Peter Cameron will bounce it on the centre wing position. And the conditions now are very, very good here. That shower, albeit heavy, doesn't seem to have affected the playing area too much. Deer thumps it down, picked up by Harvey. Harvey's kick is a short one. Oh, gee, well, that was right on the line. No, it was over the boundary line, says the boundary umpire. The crowd don't like it. Perhaps a little bit of parallax here. Morris takes the free kick. Pretty vocal too, Pete. There's plenty of them here. Brereton, two on one. Oh, steals it from Baker. No, Baker's mark. Lovett doesn't like it. He'll get another 15 metres. He has. Alan Jeans won't be too happy with that. Port Adelaide into attack. Oh, good morning. No, dear. Should have marked it. Got two hands to it. Russo. Robertson. Robertson showing a lot more pace this quarter. Buccanara lost it out to Ebert. In towards centre field. Port Adelaide swing into attack up towards their right half forward flank. Morris knocks it away from Russell. It's about the first time that Russell hasn't made a clean grab of the ball. Well, big clash out there between O'Brien and Wallace. Both of them are down. Wallace is up. Play continues and there's a great mark taken down in there in defence for Port Adelaide by Harvey. He's gone for a hand pass to Simpson. Curtis. Thought about going short. Too long for Anderson. Deed was there. Dippy to Medico. On to Knights. Leading fourth on tonight. Back to Russo. Russo long. Up towards full forward. Bacanara behind. And cut out mark his opponent. Harvey again. Two great marks to Harvey. Wide. Towards Baker. No, not that time. Williams again. And Williams trying to get clear. He struck one off. He goes for a hand pass back to Baker. Baker gets the ball back to Curtis. A long kick to set a half four. They're still hanging in there. Oh, good mark that time to uh, Kennedy. He's having a wrestling match there with uh, Harrison. He's got him by the foot. It's got to be a 15-metre penalty, hasn't it? Uh, oh, golly, not paying it. Well, right, Peter Cameron couldn't work it out, though. Calling him back again. Just on the 13-minute mark, 6-11-47. Hawthorne to Port Adelaide, 5-4-34. Now he's got the 15-metre penalty. Right at centre field, so he should go for the long kick. He's gone out wide over towards the forward pocket. Knights flies high. Staying at the back that time was Edwards. This back line standing up pretty well for Port Adelaide. And the ball is out of bounds on the centre wing position. All the way to the uh, third and a half minute mark of this third quarter. It'll be uh, Baker against Deer. Knocked out by Deer. A bit of fumbling going on by both sides. Russell Ebert, the skipper, as I said before, broke the Australian record for Australian football by playing 435 senior games last week. Looks as though he can play another five. Yes, he's, had a, he's been a great player. Ball hits the deck. Just getting through the pack that time was Wallace down towards the forward pocket, coming out to meet it again. Is Edwards, but it beats him and it's out of bounds. About 50 metres around from the Hawthorne goal. They're in front by 13 points. I'll leave it again. Tries to get a hand pass. The wrong man. All back from Green. Back to Wallace. A high kick up towards the forward pocket. Buccanar in the front punch. He's got the mark. He'd be about uh, 30 metres out from goal. Right on the boundary line just about. A little bit too strong that time for Harvey. 
Hawthorne starting to wear them down. Into this third quarter by just on 14 and a half minutes. We wait on Buck an hour to kick Hawthorne's seventh goal. The kick on its way, but he's up target and it's through for a point. So it's six goals, 12-48 Hawthorne to Port Adelaide, 5-4-34. Short pass out to Baker and he's got the mark down there in the back pocket for Port Adelaide. Pass coming over. Finally, we see Port Adelaide drive the ball back towards Big Russell, but he couldn't grab that when it went too high. Williams goes for a hand pass out wide. Kicked off the ground by O'Brien. Couldn't get clear. He falls over. It's tapped out again. Pushed on again by O'Brien. Back it goes now. There's a chance for the ball to be picked up by Lawson. A short pass. It'll be OK. And Jennifer takes the mark. Ebert's on the ground. There he is, number one. Down it goes up to their half forward line in front. Punched away by D.P. Domenico. Away from Smith. They stack up where they grab it. He can't get clear in. And Harrison came off the ground. Replaced by Ebert. It'll be a ball up about uh, 45 to 50 metres out from the uh, Port Adelaide goal. We're approaching the 15 and a half minute mark. Still a bit of scrimmaging going on. And the umpire will ball it up. Still that distance out from goal. Round about the centre half forward position for Port Adelaide. 16 and a quarter minutes gone, 6-12 to 5-4 at Football Park. Knocked down by Deer, the umpire's given him a free kick. Robertson. Schwab fumbles on the half-back right flank, but he's gone for a pass as well, and that's OK, picked up by James Bennett. Green. Well, Hawthorne running a lot more in this quarter. Malaxos. Can't take the mark in front of Ebert, looking for a free kick. Oh, Curtis grabbed a little bit too high, but the umpire says no free kick. Bradley goes for the hand pass. That's OK. Williams. A pass, and that's all right, too. It's marked by Knight. Knight on centre wing for Port Adelaide. He's gone for a pass. Russo tries to punch the ball clear. Lawson couldn't get near it. Picked up by Deer. A funny old sort of a kick. Anderson on centre wing. Too long for Bradley, but Russell is there. is absolutely atrocious it's out of bounds i don't think on the floor i'll wait on the boundary umpire for this but i think it was uh, just inside the line yes it was peter they're messing about a bit with short passing instead of going directly at the goals yeah, it's unusual though. it's not not really their game and uh, it's certainly not working for them because they've got a full forward and uh, you think that they kick direct to him rodney e will get a free kick for a push in the back he'd right on the boundary line at the half back line towards centre field, trying to find Brewton, too long for him, Baker was there, Bennett offloaded, still got a chance to paddle it out if he can, he does, but it's picked up by the opposition, down towards Port Adelaide's half-forward line, and Lester Smith in the road for Hawthorne, over to Schwab. Morris, long to half-forward, trying to find Knights, and Knights grabs it in. He's played a bad game, even though Russell outpointed him clearly early, long shot by Knights is off target, could be out of bounds on the full it is before Dunstall can mark it, and it will be a free kick to Port Adelaide. To be taken down there for them by Lawson. Lawson goes wide. Hand pass comes out from Evans to Harvey. And the mark taken by Bradley. He was on the Australian Tour of Ireland last year. Ebert. Lester Smith in the road, Lawson in front, Lester Smith too tall. Good mark to Lester Smith. He's played a fair game for Hawthorne. Yep. He's down there at half back. He's got a 15 metre penalty that brings him up to the wing position. 14 points the difference in favour of Hawthorne. Oh, Knights flying. Oh, that was Brown. It picked up by Knights. And the kick is a short one. And it's marked down there by Knight. This is Stephen Knight from Port Adelaide. A short pass out wide. And right now for uh, Port Adelaide go clear. It'll be uh, going through that time is. Uh, Russell. Finally, it's kicked short as a go now as we see the ball kicked up there by Bennett. He's off target for Hawthorne. It's through for another point. Dwayne Russell obviously having a run on the ball, Lou, and uh, perhaps uh, I don't know whether that's really worked for them. He's not in the game, and uh, it, it doesn't give them something to aim for when they go forward. Well, they've got Ebert. That's their skipper up there at the full forward position in place. 5-4 I mean, to 6 13-49 uh, to Hawthorne. Ball out there towards the half-back line. Picked up here now by Swab, but the umpire's found a free kick. It'll go out there to Morris. Morris out at half-forward, a good 65 metres out from goal. Port Adelaide's getting a little tired. 
Perhaps the inexperience of these fellas is causing that. Oh, there'll be an Owie call play on the umpire as Knights knocks the ball back there to Hanley, an open goal. And he's missed it. No, it's a goal. 21 points the difference in favour of Hawthorne as we approach the 20 minute mark of the third quarter. The ball hits the deck. Morris missed that one completely. Bradley goes down, but the umpire said there'll be a free kick to him. Bradley to take the free kick at centre field with a 15 metre penalty. Brings him down to centre half forward. He's off like a shot. Goes for the long kick up there towards Ebert, the front bossy. But he's out pushed out of place that time by Kennedy. This allows Lester Smith to take the ball away from the danger zone down there in the back pocket. And the two number 26s, Ede and Anderson, doing battle. Ede wins out. Lift foots it up towards the centre wing position. And the mark is taken by Harvey. Shoots out the hand pass. Bradley takes it at the point of the square. Long shot in towards full forward. And the mark, yes, Knight. Good mark. Good Great mark. mark. Tremendous movement by Bradley, too. He's uh, just starting to get into the game again. And uh, he's had 15 kicks, in fact, Bradley. So he's done a bit of work in the middle. But uh, Stephen Knight, he's an opportunist. And... Uh, he hasn't had a lot of touches, only his sixth kick, in fact, Lou, so he's really got to kick this goal. Say. So, we should kick it from there. He's only 15 metres out. It's close. It's a goal, I think. Yes, it is. So Knight puts through his first goal. It's only Port Adelaide second at that end of the ground. 6 4 to 7 13, Hawthorne by 15. Amazingly, too, uh, he's the uh, only the second Port Adelaide footballer to have kicked goals because uh, Wayne Russell has four. But watch Bradley as he runs through the middle. In fact, he's had five. Bradley's kick was spot on. And Stephen Knight kept his eye on the ball, and uh, it was a good, a good finish to uh, a good bit of play there by Port Adelaide. 22 and a quarter minutes gone in the third quarter. Hawthorne by 15 points, 7.13 to 6.4. Knight's first goal. Knocked down by McCarthy. He replaced Deere a few moments ago. Lawson runs into plenty of trouble. Finally gets his kick out. Bradley marks it in front of Morris. Empire bringing it back, though. She could say penalising the side. Robertson goes the punch down. Past Geneva. Knocked back by Knight. Well, Robertson could have infringed. No, says the umpire. Picked up by DP Domenico. The umpire has found a free kick. It's going to Williams, is it? Now it's going to Robertson. A little rile the crowd, then a good hand pass, picked up by Morris finally. A wobbly left foot kick back towards centre field, O'Brien overruns the ball. Bradley and Wallace. Bradley wins out and well played. Bradley to half forward for the Magpies. Morris and DP Domenico, good smother by Williams. Now he, he gains it beautifully at half forward. He's gone for a pass, now he's gone for a goal! It bounces the wrong way. It was a leg break. And missed by about a metre and a half. No one up there for Port Adelaide then. He put the kick it there. No, he knew what to do, though. He put yes. it in low and uh, he just... Uh, yeah, the leg break. He needed an off break. Out to half back. Knocked away by Baker. Chance for Port again. Hand pass on to Ebert. He's clear of Kennedy. Shoots it out in the shot by Anderson. Is off target, I think. One behind. So the scoreboard, Port having bad luck now and shooting for goals. 6-6, six, six, Hawthorne 7-13, 13, 13 points in it. Waiting for the ball to come back into play. Into this quarter, just over the 23-minute mark. That's the third of the Foster's footy cup. A short pass. That was dangerous, but it's OK. It marked here by Handley. Handley, of course, playing his first game. He's had four kicks since coming on the ground. Ball back towards the uh, half-back line. Oh, there's nearly a push in the back. Yes, against Baker. It'll go to McCarthy. So McCarthy's got the, the ball down there towards the half-forward line now as they come into meet it. Oh, Curtis got one over the top of that. There's a go for Malaxos. He goes down. They pile on top of him. Couldn't go. Oh, did he throw that Russell Green or not? If you don't mind. Over to Russo. And marked here by Brown and running to an open goal. Put in your glasses. Oh, listen, the crowd go mad about that one. Oh, if that wasn't a throw, I've never seen one, Pete. The umpire was in the wrong position he was on the other side the crowd saw it but not the umpire well it's 42 plays 61 and Hawthorne could have been a bit lucky I'll tell you what though if you're going to throw the ball there's a, that's the place to do it that's right the umpire's right behind him and uh, okay got away with it but there's that man again he's uh, he's the, the thorn in the side of Port Adelaide Brereton easily Hawthorne's best player of powerhouse 42 plays 61 in favour of Hawthorne 
just on the 25 minute mark of this third quarter if that wasn't a throw by Russell Green I've never seen one and the Hawthorne the uh, Port Adelaide crowd certainly agreed with me it'll be a ball up down towards the Port Adelaide centre half a half forward position Baker against McCarthy Knocked out by McCarthy, slings the ball back there, falling on top was Harvey, the ball knocked back there towards half forward, picked up by uh, Robertson out wide towards the wing position. This is Ebert going after it, coming in, backing him up nicely was uh, Simpson, showing a lot of dash, goes for a pass, and a mark taken here by Russell's already kicked five goals, a short pass. Bradley lost sight of that one. Ball knocked towards the ground. Picked up by Robertson again coming back into the game. As he finally gets it out to Green. A hand pass back there to uh, Bennett. Bennett goes for a long kick over towards centre half. Ford flying high was Knights. Couldn't hold the mark but finally gets it back there to Green. A short pass to Malaxos. Going after him is Curtis. He gives a hand pass wild. And it's Russo running into an open goal. And what's he done? So at six goals, 6.42, uh, Port Adelaide to Hawthorne. Nine goals, 13.67. Great passage of play, uh, Blue and Peter. They they really ran it forward beautifully. Russo was on the end of it. That was his first goal. And uh, again, I say, a great quarter for Hawthorne because they've kicked 6-2 now. Port Adelaide has only managed 1-2, but uh, that northern end is the goal scoring end. It certainly looks uh, that way, doesn't it? For sure, Peter. I think uh, Port Adelaide will be going with, with it in the last, but. They are running out of legs, and uh, one thing too, their big ruckman Baker, who's been on the ball all the time, Lou, because uh, uh, their two main ruckmen, Johnson and Kennedy, are at the sideline, and uh, he's, he's put in a pretty good job. Certainly has. Two to Brereton, two to Bacchanara, the major goal kickers for Hawthorne. McCarthy doing the ruck work against Baker, palms it down. The bounce certainly didn't favour the big Port Adelaide ruckman. Now tonight, who's been one of only two goal kickers for Port Adelaide, Russell has five and Knight one. Ball up just wide at the circle. McCarthy and Baker. Baker wins this one. Down to Little Geneva. Bounce favours Lester Smith. Back to the Hawthorne half forward line. Brewer. About 12 marks he's taken tonight. Mr. Brewer's Peter Marcus comments that he's easily Hawthorne's best player. Now Peter Cameron giving a 15 metre penalty. Peter, what was that for? Didn't pick it up, Lou, but uh, uh, Peter, sorry, but uh, I don't think the Port Adelaide guys are used to the way Peter Cameron umpires. Um, they're a little bit bemused about it. I think we are too at the moment. I reckon. Brereton shoots at goal. Goal umpire moves marginally across, and it's four points to Hawthorne. So Brereton becomes Hawthorne's leading goal kicker with three. Just on that comment, when Rick Davies came over to Hawthorne, he was totally uh, umpired out of many games by Victorian umpires. So obviously there are different interpretations. Certainly are, Peter, and uh, I think that was probably an instance of it, but. Uh, Gee, he's a powerhouse, Brereton. He, uh, he's had 16 kicks, Peter, and I think he's taken about 12 marks and three goals. And uh, when you're a centre-half forward, they're very good statistics. We'll see Brereton back here in the state match, I think, in about a month's time. It's on about May the 14th here at Football Park. And you'll see that live on seven. Geneva up towards half-four, and a good mark taken down there by Williams. That's in Melbourne, of course, not in Adelaide. Williams plays on. Looks for Russell. Russell's kicked five. He's gone for a hand pass. O'Brien, the rookie, gets the hand pass out. A snapshot at goal by Evans. Is falling a little bit short. Oh, marked down there. Missed by Smith. Kennedy paddles it over the line. And we'll see a boundary throw in. Well, he had the chance of a lifetime uh, then, Smith, but dropped it. So it'll be a penalty free kick going down there to Hawthorne. It's Kennedy with the ball down there in the back pocket. 73 points Hawthorne to Port Adelaide, 42. Just over the 28 minute mark. Knocked out by O'Brien. Comes back to Morris at centre half back. Hand pass. Robertson's kick is back to the centre of the ground. He's the up that is right. through that. Well, if he spotted that one, <laughs> I don't know how he missed the green one. He guessed that one too, I think. That was a real le legit jo a job, uh, Peter. There's Alan Jeans. He'd be a bit happy about his side's performance in this third quarter. They were in plenty of trouble up till half time. Well, kicked up there by Geneva. Oh, there's Ebert flying. O'Brien grabs the ball, but they soon call him, and the umpire said it's holding the ball. Well, they can't blame uh, Cameron for that because that's the South Australian umpire. Swap now. There's the sound to win the third quarter of the Foster's Footy Cup, and it's Hawthorne 10 13 73 to Port Adelaide, six goals, 6 42.
Okay, here we go for the final quarter now from Football Park. Hawthorne leading by 31 points, but Port Adelaide coming home with the breeze. I don't think it's as strong as it was earlier in the night, but certainly Port should be able to take advantage of it, as Hawthorne did in the previous term. Robertson now kicks the Hawks into attack, long towards full forward, almost a mark to Dunstall. Russo gets around Geneva, has the snapshot, trying to find Brereton. He has to beat two of them. Knights is there. Knights goes for a shot over his shoulder. Malaxos getting underneath it. Curtis, Bennett, rushed through for one behind. So first score coming up at the 36 second mark to Hawthorne. 10-14 to 6-6. 12 is Harvey. Curtis brings the ball back in from the West Australian. Robertson. Wallace. McCarthy loses it. Picked up by Bradley. Bradley up to half forward for Port. Williams goes the knock on, but not successful in getting it away from Russell Green. Schwab, Williams in pursuit. Green goes wide, looking out there for Morris, covering plenty of ground to get away from Smith. Not a good pass. Chipping in beautifully was Harvey. He goes down for his trouble. And speaking of going down, so too does the Hawthorne player. O'Brien tackles him well. It's a push out. It's the South Australian umpire giving that one. It's Hanley taking the free kick. And Hanley to take the free kick at left centre wing for the Hawks. Playing his first senior game, Brereton has to beat two. Baker thumps the ball clear. A hand pass comes out to Russo. It's on the DP Domenico. A short pass. Curtis in the road, though, and takes the mark. Chips it back towards the wing position, trying to find Baker. Russo gets it past him. Baker just about kicked it out of bounds there. O'Brien looks for the hand pass. Lawson and Harvey, Harvey are there, taken by the latter. Harvey's gone for a pass. Ebert has to try and knock it clear of his opponent. Picked up by Peter Schwab now. Schwab goes for the hand pass. Back to Morris. Back to Schwab and Hawthorne get out of danger. Well, they're settling down, Hawthorne. Ball out there to Di Pieta Menigo. He's grabbed but instructs that uh, Port Adelaide player off. Not a good kick and the ball marked here by Williams. No, it's not Williams. It's... Uh, I'll pick him up in a moment. The ball back there to centre half four. This is Knight marking the ball now. He marked a beauty in that third quarter. Goes from pass. It's all right. And it's marked by uh, Russell. Well, this fella's already kicked five goals. He was a sensation in the first half. I think it was five goals from five uh, shots at the goals. That was Edwards before. Waiting on uh, Russell from about 20 metres out. Six goals last Saturday, so he's really on the ball. And having another go for goal number six here. That's a goal. And so Port Adelaide still in the game. 10-14-74 Hawthorne to Port Adelaide. Uh, seven goals, 6-48. Certainly the most productive forward on the on the ground. And uh, Stephen Knight there, number 32, passed beautifully to him. And as we mentioned before, a very strong player. Six goals in, an S in, a, uh, in a Foster's Cup game is, is certainly tremendous uh, percentage work from a full forward because the, the games are not as long as the normal games. He's had ten kicks and he's kicked six goals. There's still a bit of time for him to get a few more. And, uh, well, the Magpies are still not out of it. There's plenty of time. And as we've mentioned, the breeze is going to the end that they're kicking. Well, they're not lacking in enthusiasm. That's one thing, Peter, are they? Certainly not, Lou. Centre bounce again. 26 points the difference in favour of Hawthorne. And Port Adelaide go back into attack through Williams that time over their half-four line. Kicked off the ground by Kennedy. Oh, Russell Lilly got that one. Was kicked on by Kennedy. Snapped up nicely by Bacanara. Punched out by Baker. Pushed on again. Nice push out by Robertson over to Green. Gets a hurried kick out wide towards uh, Brereton. Brereton Simpson, it's a chance for Brereton to break clear. He does, he runs to an open goal. This could be putting on your glasses. Right. Yes, it's a goal. And no doubt the best player on the ground in my book. Four goals to Brereton. Four goals to Brereton. Ten, seven goals, 6.48 uh, Port Adelaide. And we see Hawthorne, 11 goals, 14, 80 points. I tell you what, the way he manoeuvred there is like Hudson at his best. Well, he's played top football tonight. He's been far too good for Simpson, but unfortunately for Port Adelaide, I don't think they want to to put onto him. Uh, no, no, they haven't. They haven't, Lou. And, and certainly, if you compare the respective body strengths of both players, Simpson's just not strong enough. That's and, right. Uh, that's a big rap from Peter Landy, putting him in uh, Hudson's uh, I category. See, the, the way he moved. The way he manoeuvred. I know I'd go along with that. 48 plays 80, four goals to Brereton, six goals to Russell. They're the leading goal kickers in the match today. Socket uh, from mid-air by McCarthy out towards the centre wing position. Knight's a little bit late on the scene. Could have given away a free kick. In fact, he has. It will be taken by Edwards. 
Edwards at half back left flank. Long kick was the breeze down towards the half forward position. DP at Domenico punches the ball well clear. Picked up by Williams. Just about cops one for his corner. Oh, Robertson a mile in the air. Great mark over the top of Geneva. And plays on. Russo. On his own, Bacchanara. I think Hawthorne selectors will be pretty pleased with Bucky's performance tonight. Oh, Wallace was hung on to. Oh, it's out of bounds, so bad luck there for Har for Simpson, rather. Just couldn't control it, and so it will be a boundary throw-in between the half-forward flank and forward pocket for Hawthorne. 32 points in favour of the Hawks. McCarthy in front, doing battle with Baker. Green. High-hand pass to James Bennett. Green again. Oh, Brereton, man of the match. Certainly bringing Curtis well back. Was it a 15-metre penalty or was it a short one or what was it? Hard to say. I wouldn't like to buy real estate from him if it was a 15-metre penalty, but he's taken nine marks. Uh, he's taken nine marks, Peter, and uh, this is his 18th kick. And he's kicked four goals. He's going for number five from 25 metres out directly in front. I think he might have missed that one. No, it's a goal. Five goals to Brereton. And Hawthorne go further ahead here at Football Park in the Foster's Cup. Well, we might see how it all happened, but uh, he's uh, feeling just the lower part of his back there. Uh, certainly been in the play a lot, but Hawthorne got it away there, and Russell Green put the kick forward. Brereton went down low to the ground. He might have cut one just to the lower part of the back there. Pretty happy camp there, the, uh, the Hawthorne crew. 12-14 Hawthorne. 38 points, the difference in favour of the Hawks. Looking good now. Hand pass from Wallace, intercepted that time by uh, Lawson. Chance for uh, Port Adelaide to go back into attack that time through Anderson out wide, coming down to that or Ebert. That's Russell Ebert taken. Oh, was he over the line? Lester Smith, the umpire, said yes. So it'll be a throw on about uh, 45 metres around from the Port Adelaide goal. They badly need one now. Just over the seven minute of this uh, last quarter. 7-6 plays, 12-14. In favour of Hawthorne, a bit of juggling going on. Finally, the ball kicked up there by Smith. It bounces OK for O'Brien. Over it goes now to Harvey. A running shot at goal, but he's off target. In the square on his own that time was night, but he couldn't see him, and uh, it's through for one point. Kicked it a bit like a half-back then, Luke. Yes, 49 <laughs> plays, 86. Waiting for the ball to come back into play. A short pass by Kennedy. It's OK. Swap well covered by Russell Ebert there. Swab around about the full-back position. Boots the ball over the half-back line. It'll be uh, Edwards and uh, Bennett going for it. Neither can take the mark. It hits the deck. They pile in there. Bradley gets a hand pass out. Umpires call play on as Jennifer goes for a pass. Looking there for Russell Lee, but oh, his own man spoiling there, uh, Williams. He did, yeah. And it's out of bounds. Well, probably a little bit too enthusiastic that time, Williams. That's uh, a bit of a tray the family's got. You can't stop that. Ball back into play again. Knocked out by Morris. Picked up by Ebert. Kicked it in trouble very far. Punched away. Oh, grabbed by Knight. He could get clear. He snapped this at goal. Not a bad shot of play either. Beautiful play by Knight. What a goal. That was a great goal, Peter. It was, Lou. He, uh, we mentioned before he's an opportunist, and that had opportunism written all over it, didn't it? He, uh, he grabbed the ball here from a pretty difficult spot, brought it down to the body, and the hook around was... Uh, was a little bit better than the, the halfback kick we saw a little while ago. He's pretty happy about it too. He jumped up like a soccer player then. Just over nine minutes gone in the final term. Hawthorne leading 12-14 to 8-7 now. A stalemate. Peter Cameron will bounce it just wide of the circle. Still only two goal kickers for Port Adelaide. Russell has six and Knight two. Free kick going to Port. Baker. Gets it out, taken by Harvey. Shrugs the tackle from McCarthy. And also that of Wallace, long up towards full forward, but Lester Smith stands his ground. Played a solid game, Pete. He's just about been Hawthorne's second best player in my book next to Brereton. He's gone for a pass, not a good one. Trying to find Kennedy, or Robertson it was rather, but it's uh, over the boundary line from Geneva. And we'll see a boundary throw in about 45 metres from the Port Adelaide goal. <laughs> McCarthy 
doing the ruck work against Russell. Lawson loses out to Bennett. Bennett's pretty fast. He's fairly tall, but he's certainly not what you'd call a slouch. Still he goes. Finally, the tackle comes from Harvey. Oh, good tackle by Smith on Bacanara. And away go Port again. Bradley from centre field. The long kick. Williams in front. Oh, could have uh, spoiled his, his own man there again. Finally, it's Morris. Certainly lack of talking by the Port forwards. Robertson goes long. Out on towards the centre wing position. Or Curtis misjudged the flight of it. Picked up by Lawson finally. Over the head of Hanley. Knight. Hand pass. Geneva. Harvey gets it back. Oh, Port messing around. Going the short game. Oh, Williams gets decked. That's got to be downfield. Now he'll get another kick. Because it was out of bounds. Now let me see. He would be about 40 metres out. Maybe just a smidgen further. And the chance to become Port Adelaide's third goal kicker. As I said, Russell has six. Knight has two. 7-8 kick, uh, Peter. He, he, he played very well first half. Faded just a fraction in the third quarter. 7-in kicks. I think is a stat that speaks for itself. Into the goal square waiting down to Schwab. Schwab's kick is a high one. Kennedy really going for it and marks it safely in front of Bradley. And we're just over the 11 minute mark. 31 points the difference in favour of Hawthorne. Made a penalty uh, to Kennedy. Just brings him up just about to a uh, little short of half back. He's had about nine or ten uh, kicks for the match so far. In front is Baker. Couldn't hold the mark. Grabbed by Smith. A hand pass coming over to Bradley. A long kick up there towards the full forward position. But Russell's in the rear that time. And the mark taken there by Morris down there in the back pocket. Well, Russell uh, has kicked, uh, what, six goals up at this stage of the match, Pete, isn't it? Yep. It's a fine effort. Ball out of bounds on the centre wing position. Into this quarter by just on 12 minutes. Eight goals, 7.55. Port Adelaide to Hawthorne, 12, 14, 86. But full marks to Port Adelaide. About 10 or 11 players out, regular players out of their side. They've put up a really good fight here tonight. Down towards half forward for Hawthorne. Knights flies high, couldn't hold the mark. Knocked out to Bacanara. Goes for a pass out wide, looking for James Bennett. He's got the mark on the boundary line. He fumbled. A pass called play on and long hand pass coming over to Malaxos. Another one back here to Russo. Down he goes. They pile on top of him. He gets a hand pass back as they go now. And a shot for goal by Dunstan. He's put it through for full point. That's his second. minutes gone 92 plays 55 hand pass from Bacanara back to Bennett again off the side of the boot but it's okay oh then again he may have meant that it's marked here by Malaxos he'd only be about uh, let me see no more than about 20 meters out from goal on a bit of an angle taking his time as we approach the 13 and a half minute mark of this Last quarter of the Foster's Football Cup. It falls a bit short. And there's Brewer again. What a game he's played tonight. Played the game of his life. I think he's had about ten marks for the match so far. And going for goal number five. It's a fine effort from centre-half forward. He's only about uh, two metres out from goal on a very slight angle. May have kicked uh, five goals. Is it five goals he's kicked? Six down. Six for six six now. Now. You got him down for six? Six goals. What have you got him down for, Pete? I've got, six I've got him for six. That's his third this quarter. And uh, gee, I'm, I mean, he's known as a very good player. He's, he's one of the, the young brigade, the stars of the oh, future. He's an up-and-coming uh, star, Pete. Gee, he's I, a real good player. I think a lot of people uh, in Adelaide perhaps didn't realise that he was oh, this good, no. Lou. He's a top player. Six they goals from centre-half four. Gee, you, you don't, they don't come much better than that. Ten marks and 19 kicks. 55 plays 98 now. Hawthorne lead by 43 points. So actually since the first quarter, they have kicked uh, 14 goals, three. Remember, they had 11 behinds on the board at quarter time. 14-3 since the first change. DP and Domenico's kick up towards half forward and the mark taken by Curtis. Curtis half back for Port. He's gone for a short pass, marked by Williams. Short pass again taken by Evans. Evans's kick is long up towards full forward. 
Russell at the back has to try and go the punch. Chance for a port goal. Geneva snapshot. Looks pretty good. It's close. Kennedy has marked it. It might be over the line. And in fact, it is one behind to the Magpies, taking them along now to eight goals, eight. 56 plays, 98. Now Kennedy bringing the ball back into play. Looking for McCarthy, outmarked by Baker. Baker half forward, left flank. Goes for a pass. Well, two port players could have collided there, but it's OK. And Williams takes the grab about uh, 40 metres from goal directly in front. So Stephen Williams, who in my book has been just about their best player, has played well. It's not a bad kick either. No doubt about that, it's a goal. And so Williams becoming only the third goal kicker for Port Adelaide. Russell has six, two tonight, and that's Williams first. 19 kicks too, Peter. He's, uh, I think he's been the best rover on the ground. He's, uh, he's certainly done a lot of the, the heavy, hard work. In addition to that, he's taken five marks, kicked his first goal, he's had uh, seven handballs. Baker's been on in the ruck all evening for Port Adelaide, and there's Stephen Williams, a fine goal. 16 and three-quarter minutes gone, final term. Ginova off and Fiaci on for the Magpies, 98 to 62. Bradley, long hand pass, up to the point of the square. Now the Magpies through Lawson, swing into attack again. Morris standing his ground, though, well, for Hawthorne, takes the mark in the back pocket. With attention from Evans. Morris wearing Kelvin Moore's jumper, number 15. Certainly something to live up to. A long kick. Looks like McCarthy up there with the mark. Yes, it is. McCarthy right on the boundary line. Certainly a greatly improved player in the last two or three seasons. <laughs> it's everywhere, chasing kicks. I think he needs to go that far to get them. I've often seen him play a good half or a quarter here and there, but I would say this is one of the best games he's played for a long time. Peter Knights coming back into some form too. Russo out to half forward. Bennett, good grab. Taking it over the top of Edwards. Another young player for Hawthorne. And he played a handful of senior games. And James Bennett now wearing Andy Bennett's old number, with number 18. 40 metres from goal, directly in front, but kicking into the breeze, it stands right up. Brereton's down there as well. He's got uh, unlimited energy, it's one behind the end result. 99 plays 62, Hawthorne lead by 37 points as Curtis brings the ball back into play. 37 points, the difference. As we approach the 18-minute mark of this last quarter, there's a chance now for Anderson to break clear, goes for a pass out towards that uh, half uh, forward line. Kennedy dropped the mark, they pile up there, knocked out by Swamp to Kennedy. Or kick back by Kennedy towards the uh, half forward line, but there's a good mark taken here by Brad. He's played a darn good game here tonight too for Port Adelaide. Kick is a bit long. Oh, there's a great mark taken by O'Brien. A long hand pass coming out here now. And it's it, uh, Harvey going out. It gets a hand pass, not a good one. He goes down. Proud call for a free kick, but finally Swab gets it out there wide to Buccanar on his own. They've got the open space to play to Hawthorne as we see. Uh, Bennett give a hand pass back to a Green. Green at half forward. Goes for a long kick up there looking for Dunstall. And Knight, Knight flies. Couldn't get that one, but Malaxos backing up well. No, Dunstall gives it over to Malaxos. A bad hand pass. Curtis sweeps on the ball. Leaves him for dead. Good play. As he gives a hand pass back there to Ebert. The ball shot back towards Bradley. It's too long, but running over the ball was Kennedy. A hand pass coming back now to Anderson again. The ball shot down to Simpson. Simpson's in trouble. He's grabbed pull of the ground gets a hand pass back, knocked away by Ead. And it goes to uh, Lawson. Lawson strokes deep here to Minico up. Kicks it up towards Russell. Tapped on by Russell over to Knight. Can he get there? He'll get there with a the goal. Lost his boot. That's his third. So it's not through the want of endeavour they're losing this game. 68 plays, 99, a difference of 31 points. They haven't thrown the sponge in as the ball comes back to Bradley again. Over there, half four, then it beats about five of them. It's a go again for Russell. Going after the ball now is Green with a hand pass back. And the mark taken here by uh, Ede, a little short of half back. Ede with a short pass, a dangerous one, and a mark to Williams. Well, Gully's got a similar style to his brother in uh, Melbourne, playing with Collingwood, and he falls over all the time, uh, Peter. That's but, what you call doing a Graham out yes. that pass. Well, there we go now. He's got a chance to score a goal. He's had about 20-odd, uh, uh, 24 possessions, this fellow. 
It'd be about uh, 35 metres out. The kick on its way. Won't make the distance. Off the top of the pack, and it's out of bounds. So there'll be a throw in right against the Port Adelaide point post. Their score is 10 goals, 8.68 to Hawthorne, 14, 15, 99. And remembering that Hawthorne scored 11 straight behinds and didn't score their first goal until about five minutes into the second quarter. Russell tries to grab that one. Fiatchi tries to get clear. He couldn't do so. They pile up there and the umpire's going to ball it up about 10 metres out from the Port Adelaide goal. Running for the ball up again. Well, they both missed that. Russell and McCarthy. Ball pushed out by Swab. Well, they're nearly, nearly a free kick out there to Morris, I would say, but the umpire said no. It'll be another ball up in the forward pocket. Still about 15 metres out uh, from the Port Adelaide goal as we approach the 21-minute mark of this, the last quarter. Grabbed by Hanley, and the ball down there now. Has a chance for Harvey to get clear. Hand pass coming over to Fiat. GF shot at goal. And I think he might have threaded this for a goal. He has. First kick of the night. So they, they're not out of a jet. They're still having a go, Port Adelaide. You've got to give them credit for it, Peter. Definitely, Lou. And uh, there's a, a supporter. I tell you what, he's pretty keen. He's the only one out there, but he's got two flags waving. Fiatchi's first kick. He really knew where the big ones were because he didn't need to look. Banged it onto the left boot, and the Magpies are still in there fighting. 11-8 to 14-15. 25 points in it now. It's been a very entertaining match here tonight at Football Park in Adelaide. And wherever you're watching it, we hope you're enjoying the action on seven. Knocked down by McCarthy. Can't get it clear. Fiatchi, second possession for the Nuts. A hand pass over to Harvey. Harvey's kick is a short one. Gives the opportunity to Lester Smith. The umpire says no mark. For what reason? No, no, not. Bradley, the, ever the opportunist, fires out the hand pass, trying to find Ebert. Lester Smith there again for Hawthorne, playing well. One of those, they're hard to read. Smith well caught holding the ball, says umpire Argent. And Port Adelaide fans not happy with that. Malaxos out wide to Russo. Bacanara. Marking in front of Curtis. Bacanara about 25 metres from goal on a slight angle. A fair way in from the boundary line. Now Gary Bacanara with two goals to his credit tonight. Goes for a short pass. Back to Steve Malaxos. So the West Australians keeping it amongst themselves at the moment. Bacanara to Malaxos, two of the best from the West in the last few years. He's had a quiet night, Peter. He's only had uh, seven possessions. And uh, how, how's he going in Melbourne at the moment? Uh, He's had a couple of good games and a couple of ordinary ones. Yeah, that's he? right. We saw them the first couple of weeks. What a bad kick. It's a goal. So three goals, to, or two goals to Steve Malaxos. I was looking at uh, Bacanara's stats. 15-15 to 11-8 as we watch a replay of the action that led to Hawthorne's goal. Certainly a bit loose, the, uh, the Port Adelaide defensive work to let it get to Malaxos. And he can certainly kick a ball. Two goals tonight. He's uh, been a bit of an opportunist himself. Seven kicks, two goals from half forward. We're a minute away from time on now, so any chance that Port had, I think, went down the drain with that particular goal to Hawthorne. However, they're not throwing in the sponge as Lawson goes for the long kick up towards full forward. Morris getting underneath it. Yeah. Ball bouncing goalwards, and it beats Morris just over the line for a point, or is it out of bounds? It's the latter, I think. Yes, it is. And so it will be thrown in at Jason to the behind post. Russell and Lester Smith to do the ruck work. Ebert in there jostling as well. Russell boot the ball quickly. Goal! Oh, goal number seven. What a great shot. And Russell putting through his seventh goal. Did that magnificently. I think that's his first in this half, though, isn't it? Or did he get five up to half time? No, he gets his second this quarter, in fact. Second Peter, this and, uh, quarter. The rest were before half time, I think, were they, Pete? They were. Gee, did it well. He uh, Strength, wasn't it? Uh, a very strong player, Lou, and uh, I guess 11 kicks, 7 goals. I really don't know why they haven't left him at full forward all evening because he's really been the best forward for Port Adelaide. Well, we're approaching the 25 minute mark. It's 25 points the difference. I think time will beat Port Adelaide. Oh, good play by Bank, and they go back into attack again. Oh, there's a strong mark to Lester Smith. He has played a good game, hasn't well, he? Well, that's the one that steadies them down a bit. But by golly, you've got to give full marks to Port Adelaide. They've put up a tremendous show here tonight. Out it goes wide. Tapped on that time by Russo, and the ball is out of bounds on the centre wing position. We're just on the 25-minute mark. 12-8-80 Port Adelaide to Hawthorne. 15-15, 105. Only 25 points in it. And they've got about 10 of their regular players out, Port Adelaide. 
Knocked out by Baker, pushed up by MacArthur. The ball driven up there by O'Brien for Port Adelaide, but it's down towards their uh, half forward line, about 60 metres around from their goal. They're 25 points down. There's that big Russell urging his side on. He's played a slashing game here tonight, kicking seven goals. Big fellow, he's uh, what about uh, 48 around the chest. You need a water bag and a road map to get around this guy as the ball finally comes down now to uh, Bennett down there at half back. There's nowhere to go. He's on the boundary line. It's out running off, putting the elbow up. It'll be against him. A free kick going out there to O'Brien. O'Brien drives the ball down there, looking for Big Russell again. Get himself in a position, got his hands, but couldn't hold the mark. That swab coming out of the pack with the ball goes for a pass. Oh, that could be a free kick to MacArthur. The umpire said no as the ball goes back to Russo. He missed it. They pile in there and the umpire will ball it up. Still on the Port Adelaide half forward line. It'll be about 70 metres around from their goal. So that's a heck of a distance when you're trying to score a goal and you're 25 points down. Knocked out by McCarthy, pushed on again. That time by Russell Ebert, the ball out of bounds. A little closer, still about 65 metres around from their goal. And they're trailing by 25 points. Just on the 26 and a half minute mark. And pushed down by the big fella, grabbed here by Harvey. Back to O'Brien, down there towards the full forward position. Russell and, oh, good mark to, uh, to Morris. Russell was trying to grab that running away, but he lost sight of it. And we see Morris with the ball down there on the back pocket. A short pass, a dangerous one, but it's marked OK by Swab. Nearly went for the punch, he's grabbed. Oh, nearly held the ball, he could have been lucky. Robertson back to Swab. They're messing about. The ball back there towards the half-back line, and Hanley flying high, showing a lot of courage that time. Takes a great mark in defence. So 20, just on 27 minutes gone, still 25 points. The difference hurt himself, Hanley. He, he didn't went. hurt himself, he got one right across the nose. And he certainly went down. Now he got it in the marking jewel, Lewis. We may be able to see in a moment. There's the, there's the kick going up there. Out there, off flying high where Smith couldn't hold the mark. They're still going after it, Port Adelaide, and uh, Hawthorne grimly hanging on there by 25 points. The ball out there on that centre wing position for a baller. Well, pushed out by McCarthy. It'll be out of bounds again, still on the centre wing position. So, 27 and a half minutes gone. It's 12 goals, 880 Port Adelaide to Hawthorne, 15 15, 105. Well, Handley waving away three trainers. He looks very, very groggy, though. There he is, number 37, trying to pick it up. Russo goes into lend assistance. Harvey just about falling over the back of him. The ball kicked out to Craig Ebert. Baker. Strokes the tackle well from McCarthy. Back to Williams on centre wing. High kick to half forward. Anderson at the back, knocks it away from Ede. The two number 26 is doing battle. It's left to Robertson. Robertson's gone for a pass to Brereton again. To Green to Bacanara. Oh, Bacanara fumbles, but he gets around Baker only just. Good tackle by the big fellow. Back to Ebert, one hand to it, over the top of Handley, who still looks very groggy. The trainer's trying to get him off the ground. Bradley in the thick of things, sends left to Big McCarthy now to fire at a hand pass. Over it goes to Bennett. Wallace, oh, fumbles. Curtis has got the chance for Port. And they get out of danger. Yes, that's a mark for mine. Former Collingwood player Lawson goes for the pass. On towards Knight. Evans. And the shot at goal and putting it through for Port Adelaide was Harvey. Let's take a look at that again. Harvey's first goal for the Magpies. And the score now in the Fosters Cup, 15-15 to 13-8, 105-86. to Peter, he did, it, he did it as a half-back too. He had a, had a pop shot at goal a little while ago, and uh, he ran down right from the half-back line and kicked a fine goal. Harvey's had 13 kicks. He's been pretty strong across half-back. Most of the Port Adelaide half-back line has, of course, the two of them. At centre-half-back, of course, they've had big problems. Only 19 points in it now. McCarthy taps it down. Can Port get it out of the centre? Well, North came back. They kicked three goals in the uh, time on period against Carlton to steal the game by a couple of points. Lawson, Bradley. Bradley lines them up from 25 metres out. There's another one. Well, they might do it yet. And Bradley puts through his first goal. The scoreboard now. 14-8, 92 to 15-15, 105. 30 and three 
quarter minutes gone. Have Port got time to get up? Well, there's about five minutes to go, or four minutes to go, Pete, I believe. And what's the difference now? 13 points it is, Lou, and uh, Jim Bradley's run through the centre with scintillating. He's, he's been a top a player, player, hasn't he? Well, he's been a top player. 13 points the difference with about three or four minutes to go. Well, can Port Adelaide knock Hawthorne off? It's been a fantastic effort by this side from South Australia. Well, they've got their tails up now as Bradley tries to get it in. Goes Williams. No one else will get it. He'll pile on top of it. And the umpire will ball it up again. What a terrier. What a game. They've really got this crowd on their toes. And so they should be too because both sides putting on a great effort here. Knocked out by Baker. Every Port Adelaide player lifting his game. In goes McCarthy. He goes down. It's finally cleared away by Wallace. Brereton trying to grab that run. Now it's a chance for Green. Goes for a pass out to Malaxos. Curtis is after him. Can he get there? The ball bouncing away from him. He's away now. Down goes Curtis. A pass. It'll be OK. And it's marked by Brereton. And he'd only be about... Uh, 25, 30 metres out from goal on a slight angle and going for goal number seven. And no doubt the best player on the ground. So I think it would be appropriate this fella seals it up for Hawthorne because he's been a star here tonight. 32 so minutes gone. 13 marks, 21 kicks and six goals, Lou. It's in a half forward. They're on the way to the 31 and a half minute mark. 105 plays, 92. There's Browden's kicking its way for his seventh goal. And it's not a bad sort of a kick, it's a goal. Seal the doom for uh, Port Adelaide. 16 goals, 15, 111 uh, Adelaide, uh, Port, uh, Hawthorne to Port Adelaide. 14 goals, 8, 92. Well, Brereton is a player that's done it, and uh, Russell Green got the ball away. It went pretty wide for Malaxos, but uh, you see the, the shepherd there against Curtis, but it was brought back to Brereton, the easiest of marks. The kick was a good one, 7 goals, great effort. Centre bounce again. Knocked out that time by McCarthy. There's the Sarah to win the match. And Hawthorne have won it. 16-15, 111 to Port Adelaide, 14-8-92. Well, it's been a great game here tonight, uh, Peter Mark. And I don't think uh, anybody that's been watching this at home, wherever they may be throughout Australia, couldn't help say that because both sides have put up a fantastic effort and a tremendous job by uh, Port Adelaide, considering they had so many senior players. I think 10 or 11 players out of their lineup. Yeah, I'd agree with that, Lou. And uh, also, of course, they played on Saturday. Hawthorne didn't. And uh, I guess that counts for something. But a very entertaining game and tremendous or unusual to see two players in a night game kick seven goals That's each. Right. Russell at one end, Brown at the other. Uh, you'd be inclined to just about toss it up between them for the best play. But I thought Brown was the most effective. Full marks to Russell. You've got to give marks to Bradley in the centre and also Williams and uh, Robertson and Lester Smith standing after the strain, particularly when uh, Port Adelaide were coming home. All right, well, in that last quarter, Port Adelaide kicked eight goals, two. Hawthorne kicked six goals, two. We've given you the major goal kickers for each side. Uh, Brereton, seven for Hawthorne. Buccanara, two. Malaxos, two for the Hawks as well. Russell, seven for the Magpies. And Knight finished up with three goals. 111 to 92 at Football Park. We'll be back in just a moment. It is, uh, for one of those rare occasions, a unanimous decision tonight. Uh, Peter Marker has gone for <coughs> Dermot Brereton. Lou's gone for Dermot Brereton. So too has Ian Day and Robert Oatey. And so Dermot Brereton to win the National Panasonic Prize for this evening here at Football Park. And Robert has him downstairs right now. Yes, Dermot Brereton, seven goals. Congratulations, Dermot. Thanks very much. Have you um, kicked that number of goals before at uh, centre-half forward? Oh, yes, but not in first. <laughs> I see. Have you played at Football Park before? Is that the first time you've been first, to Adelaide? First time I've ever been to uh, play at uh, Football Park Adelaide, yeah. What about the team at the moment? He's a pretty even team. Russell Green around the ground played very well again, and uh, Colin Robertson? Yeah, they're good runners. We rely on them heavily. You know, they run out, the, run the ball out of the back line and uh, I set it up myself and other forwards. What about the state team over there? You're in the state squad. I suppose you're looking forward to getting into that side? I'd be very pleased if I was able to get in that, yes. Um, and what do you think about uh, your chances of getting to the team? Oh, they're just like any other fellows playing in my position. You have to play well each week. It's a, a pressure situation. If you uh, fail, you'll be eliminated. What about the match tonight? How did you find Port Adelaide compared with Victorian sides? Just like another league side. They're very uh, competitive, very strong, and uh, well, they wanted to win just as much as we did. Yes, and in, in the future for your footy, what do you see of the length of time? Do you reckon you can last it out? You seem to be a pretty excitable player. Look, once there, you got a little bit excited. What does the coach think of that? Oh, he told me to quieten down, but I thought I'd marked it, and uh, I thought I'd let the ump you know I couldn't help myself at that stage. No. <laughs> do, you think, do you think, in fact, that the fact you do get a little bit excited helps you to take those marks? 
Oh, not really. I think every player's got his own personality. The way he goes about it, uh, it's just my way of going about it. Well, congratulations, Dermot. Seven goals, a magnificent performance. Thanks very much, and I'd like to thank uh, National Panasonic for donating the prize as well thank to the stereo. So. Thanks very much. Back to you, Peter. One of the most thrilling Foster's Cup matches we've had so far in the season, with Hawthorne running out winners by only 19 points. The final term saw Port kick eight goals two to Hawthorne, six goals two. A thrilling exhibition of football under ideal conditions here at Football Park, apart from that very heavy shower we had earlier on in the game. Next Tuesday, the match at VFL Park in the Foster's Cup, Footscray and North Melbourne. Hope you enjoyed the match tonight from Football Park in Adelaide. Peter Landy on behalf of our team here at Football Headquarters in Adelaide, a very good evening to you all.